Whoa, look at her go. She is crazy. Everything's fixed in patch updates. Yeah, two meters three. This is two meter three for you. Oh, she looks so good in the outfit. Well, we had to try it once. <laughs> ah, this is the cool moment I wanted. Look at that. Poor E.T. is just trying to rest and she's like, oh my god. Winston, get off my sprint track. Come on, Winston, move. He's moving out of the way. That's hilarious. That's so funny. That's hot. Prison lovers. <laughs> they were just trying to Naruto run. Oh, they restored this cutscene. But this was never in the original game. They restored it. It's like why remasters are so important. I didn't save. Oh. oh, the backtracking I'm gonna have to do. I don't know why I did that. My dumb ass should have just stopped when I had the chance. Oh, you can enable the sunglasses in the cutscene. What? I love that. Okay, let's leave Solomon's key for a second. Oh, I didn't pick it, the second key. Oh, I'm tick as a plank. How did we not die? How did we not die? Oh my god, look, we can swim with the dolphins. Oh, they're communicating with us. Oh, he shot one of the prisoners. And like, I mean, you can even run Winston over with the bike. We go through her house in the quad bike, which I think is so funny. Beautiful though. I mean, like, look at the difference. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. Or in another maze. Yeah, because like, they're all into conspiracy theories about military police. Here goes that. Look how far we've come. Tony the goon, the loon. Yeah, look at them. Like, they have no privacy on these toilets. I oh, this is cool though. I like how she's looking. Why did I press the sprint button? Oh my gosh, we found our weapons and the guy led us straight to us. Oh my god, Lara, run from the boulder. That's beautiful. See on patrol. <sighs> oh, this looks so good in high def. Her Instagram. Aha! Twins! Guess they were roommates. Prison lovers. The wow. <laughs> my breath just nearly wet. That is beautiful though. So much 3D. Nope, never mind. That's still turned on. What happens if you do a handstand and barbed wire? What happened to this dog? Um, dolphins. Okay. Oh! <laughs> I didn't even bloody notice the second alien. I don't even know what this is supposed to be. I'm gonna go down this way. Lara is so done with this. Like, even she looks miserable about this whole situation. Hi everyone, welcome back to Lee's Play. Today we are finally moving on to Tomb Raider 3, The Adventures of Lara Croft. Really excited. It's kind of sad in a way because this is obviously the final game of the trilogy. We'll have the main campaign and then the Lost Artifact expansion. But yeah, we've done Tomb Raider 1 and 2. If you haven't seen those already, go to my channel and check them out. All secrets. But yeah, this is the one I'm nervous about because I think it's no... I, my opinion pretty much follows popular opinion, which is that Tomb Raider 3 is a bit of a hot mess. And in fact, I've never done an all secrets run of 3 before. Um, I was really confident with 1 and 2, even when I did Tomb Raider 2 Gold for the first time ever on the channel, and I got all secrets the first time. This is actually the one I'm nervous about, because this game is hard anyway, even without collecting all secrets. When I used to play it before, I would never bother with all secrets, which also means it'll be my first time playing All Hallows because we are going for an all secrets run. Like my strategy for Tomb Raider 2, I think the plan is to do lots of save games and we'll get to the end of a level. And if I don't get all secrets, I'll be, it'll be edited, but I'll go back and show you where those secrets are. I'll have to play it a second time. You won't watch me play it a second time, but I'll go back a second time. And on that note, I've been able to keep my entire Let's Plays into one video, contain like a long video you can play and pause and come back to later with chapter times. But Tomb Raider 3 is such a long game that I do feel like I might have to split it into two parts because I don't think I can get this done under 12 hours, which is the limit on my YouTube account so far. So we'll see how we get on, but let's jump in with Lara's home. This is because it does have the best Croft Manor. So yeah, this is Croft Manor and as you can see, Lara is looking really good. You know, I played the first two on tank controls, but I wonder if I should switch to modern controls for the third one. To make it really challenging on myself, I'd be so out of my comfort zone doing all secrets on a control scheme I really don't like. But if you are new to the game, uh, they released a patch which offers improved visuals 
and they did refine the modern controls, although I believe my video is still relevant on my channel about how you should map some of the buttons. Well, let's check out her bathroom. That's always my favorite place to start in the manor. Um, still the two British for one, still the B-Day, iconic as ever. Her bathtub has gotten ever so larger and uh, she has did a bit of a home renovation on the floor. She got some marble tiling on the ground. She is very, very fancy. Welcome back to my humble abode. Feel free to take a look around. This is a great manner. So let's open her closet. I think a nice detail they could have done was maybe even a texture, but like if they had some drawers to like show that's supposed to be a wardrobe, because obviously that's what they're getting at. And maybe even a door texture there to show that she has a door, like this one. It's beautiful though. Yeah, because in Tomb Raider 2 there was a door texture, wasn't there? But this manor is so nice. If I remember correctly, this takes place in summertime, doesn't it? I feel like because it, you can always tell by the weather. Oh, this is really cool. So she always had a TV and this is the old graphics, but they added like um, the old analog, no, no service, because you know she's in the countryside. But isn't this manor gorgeous? Oh, let's, okay, we'll come back later because um, there's actually plenty to do in the Tomb Raider 3 version of the manor. But let's do it in order. There comes Wincy, our favorite Winston. If you want to look around, press and hold the look button. Then press in the direction you want to look. Ah, oh, fantastic, Lara. I have to say, she does have a gorgeous house. There is something iconic about your sitting room being on the uh, the second floor. So the uh, the gym is back in Tomb Raider 3. Let's go into the gym. Those of you who've been here before may notice the new decor. What do you think? Well, let's do some exercises. I think we should do them in order. Sure, Lara. I don't actually run everywhere. When I want to be careful, I walk. Hold down the, with the walk button down, I won't fall off, even if you try to make me. Go on, try it. <laughs> if a jump is too far for me, I can grab the ledge and save myself from a nasty fall. Walk to the edge next to the white line until I won't go any further. You know, that door there is into her dining room. I could totally see Lara doing a morning workout. And she's like, Winston, I need to have my food ready. The protein. Go get those games. It's leg day. It's always leg day for Lara. So, Press forward and I'll climb up. Yes, you will, Lara. If I do a running jump, I can make a jump like that. No problem. Walk to the edge with the white line and okay, this is a huge jump. It is a huge so jump. do a running jump exactly as before. Except while I'm in the air, press and hold the action button to make me grab the ledge. Nice. Excellent. Oh, it's excellent in this one. So Tomb Raider 3 has some new moves, uh, a lot of platforming ones that are related. Now she can crawl. Press forward and hold action. I can't climb up because the gap is too small. But press right and I'll shimmy sideways until there is room. Then press forward and I'll climb right up. Well done. If there's a long drop and I don't want to hurt myself jumping off, I can let myself down carefully. Tap backwards and I'll jump off backwards. Immediately press and hold the action. Next I'll show you my crawl. First, bolt onto the block. Now hold down the crawl button. This will make me crouch down. And keep holding it while using the directional buttons to move me through the gap. At the end, turn around and drop me off the ledge. Make sure to keep the action button pressed or I'll fall. Oh, Larry, you look so good. Doesn't she look great? So something that they actually, a new move they added from Tomb Raider Chronicles, the fifth game, the team really know their stuff, is you can now climb out this Push way. forward and hold down the crawl button to make me squeeze into the gap. Um, you normally you have to back yourself out backwards, but now in this version, you can actually climb out forward. Really you just want to make sure there's a big drop. Need to climb. Let's try that now. So this is our climbing from Tomb Raider 2. Then press and hold the action button so I'll climb up onto it. While keeping this button pressed, push forward on the direct now looking up. Yeah, 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 let's do the monkey swing. These look like fun. Press the jump button, then immediately hold down the action button to make me jump and grab hold of the bars. Now use the directional buttons to maneuver across. Don't let go of the action key because as soon as you okay, do, far we I'll come. let go. That's great. Right, let's sprint. Ooh. Push forward and hold down the sprint Winston, button. Winston, get off my sprint when track. The line, press the jump button and I'll perform a diving roll. Come on, Winston, move. Okay, he's moving out of the way. That's hilarious. That's so funny. 
He's like, I'm okay. getting out of here. Let's see a swim? Yes, we do, Lar. So, let's go for a swim now. The jump button and the directions move me around underwater. So now we can see some of the graphical improvements. I obviously played Tomb Raider 2 Gold with the patched visuals, but um, she now will turn into the color of the water. They fixed it. Just use forward, left, and right to maneuver around on the surface. I did prefer the bluer press color water. It swim. looks fresh. We'll go to the edge and press action to climb out. It has that kind of fruity J aero vibe to the water. Right. Let's go and play outside. But um, oh, so it looks pretty good. I love that you can see the building. So I did push a button because before we go outside I can show you something really neat and that is if you learn your skills from the gym you can totally make your way into the trophy room and oh we just got achievement for that amazing but we can appreciate Lara's artifact collection as that just says from her previous adventures so there is the dagger of Zion from Tomb Raider 2 I love that this is from Tomb Raider 4 obviously we're only playing Tomb Raider 3 but the developers at Core Design bring that artifact forward that is the iris that young Lara Croft finds at age 16 in Cambodia from Werner von Quoy when he gets his leg crushed into um, that little ledge thing that he goes across. This is the shot up Skion from Tomb Raider 1. And I believe this is a take on the golden mask from Tomb 2 Gold from... Um... Hello? Okay, let's celebrate that the better. And I guess she does have a T-Rex from many of the T-Rexes that she killed on her mantle. Of course she does. She's Lara. Um, but yeah, this is a really cool viewing room. Also, I didn't realize what was going on until like recently, but those are like shuttered windows. Obviously the house would have windows in this room, but because it's her prized trophy collection, she probably wants to keep them from decaying over time. Um, you know, obviously she doesn't let sunlight in. So I was like, oh, that's really interesting. So let's open this and go outside. So her outside has also had a renovation. The fish has been swapped for a horse, which I think is super cool. Oh, the garden, it looks beautiful because it's like sunset. Like it's just, it lends itself to having really beautiful visuals. And um, the maze, the infamous hedge maze, has now been turned into a quad bike arena. So why don't we go and do the assault course first before I show you some really other cool things you can do in the manor. This is the most comprehensive manor of the three games. So let's uh, head out here. Now I believe the achievement I think is if you get this done in two minutes 20 see how quickly the assault course can or be less. Completed. Are you ready? So if I don't talk during this assault course, it's because I'm concentrating. Let's see if I can get the achievement. I mean, I'm not really bothered if I don't. Oh, not if I'm doing it that way. I just made a fool of myself. Back to the start, Lara. <laughs> Same concept. I wanted too badly. I'm making mistakes. Maybe I shouldn't put so much pressure on myself. I can feel my blood, pre my blood pressure rising. I wonder how this would work on modern controls. I think it's a big ask asking me to I'm sure people have I'm sure if you go into YouTube people have probably there you go so once I get once the nerves wear off me okay Oh, I say if I didn't grab, I probably even would have got up quicker. Uh, okay, hang on. Oh, I'm 
wasting valuable time. I was going to say I was going to just try to dive into the water, but actually she wouldn't make that jump. I probably lost a bit of time there. That was my fault. Okay, let's do this. I saw some people do cheat though. They do the, they do the assault course multiple times. And what they'll do is they'll go and get the guns the first time to save like a couple of seconds. We're gonna do a kosher. <laughs> the way it's meant to be done. But like, who's to say? Cause I only have like less than a minute now to do the rest of it. And that involves um, shooting things. Oh my gosh, like will we make it? I don't know. Oh, can't we, we can roll now though, can't we? Aha, too late though, I probably lost some time. Ah, damn, I'm going to be penalized for that. Gosh, that was fast. But I'm sure you can do better. <sighs> Winston! Winston's standing in my way. Okay, let's see if I can lock Winston in the freezer as a punishment. Come here, you little shit. Where are you? Okay. Because if Winston's in the freezer, he cannot get to us. <laughs> um, let's go into our dining room. I'll show you the dining room. This is always a fun room. Do you think Winston will always spawn, even if we put him in the freezer? Because I know he'll spawn to wear his new outfit. But I mean, if he's in the freezer. But um, yeah, let's appreciate the, the the visuals while we wait for, for him to come along. I love the outfit. She looks, I can't wait to see the Nevada outfit. I feel like, even though I love the cat suit, I think the Nevada outfit, because you're in desert and it's orange and she's in blue, like it's just a really great look. And as you can see, this is like the best version of her kitchen. They added in the utensils from the Tomb Raider 2 one, but her kitchen is more to human size. Um, she's got a nice big stove. You can kind of see like why I'm a big, probably a big fan of The Sims. It's like different, the similar things. It's like she's got a nice kitchen. I look at all the herbs. Winston, we'll put on a banger of a music track for you by Nathan McCree while you freeze yourself in here. Here you come, Winston. And something fun that you can do is to add insult to injury is that you can shoot him and then lock him in the freezer so that he's definitely not going anywhere. So um, with that in mind, let's go and try to get this under two minutes 20. All right, attempt number two, no Winston distractions. Ah, see, if you don't hold the grab button, you can just jump from there. Ah, my laptop's gone to screen forever. Move. Because we have no guns to pick up. Which is like the thing, which is like a trick you can do if you don't get it right the first time. You can definitely save a couple of seconds by, um, not. Thing is, you don't want to set too many of these off at once. And it is easier when you don't have Winston hanging around. Yes, come on, we can do it. See, it is much easier if you lock Winston in the freezer. <laughs> Gosh, that was fast. But I'm sure you can do better. What? That was brilliant. Look at that. Train hard, fight easy. We did that under two minutes 20. And my phone's going off because I'm getting the achievements there. So, second time's the charm. You can see on the clock, we went from 2.20. Well, what was it? We got, pe got penalised out. It was 2.26. Got it. To 2.12. Nice. 
So yeah, if you're someone who's struggling and you don't get it right the first time, lock Winston in the freezer. And then because you have your guns, you can do it the second time. So now that we've done that, the next thing you probably want to do is get access to the quad bike, which is a lot of fun. And what's great is they really built Croft Manor out in this one. If my last Let's Play of Tomb Raider 2, I didn't go into the attic because there was nothing there. Like, there was no point showing you. But actually, there's plenty to do in Tomb Raider 3. But where we want to start, actually, is going into Lara's living room, which, again, has the funny TV. And what we're going to do is come up here into the library. And I think this is a really cool, like, this is, like, even though Tomb Raider 2, the Croft Manor is iconic and fun, to me growing up Tomb Raider 3 was the fun one because we were always like, what other things can we find in Lara's house? Because it just felt so explorable. And even like in the reboot of Manor, it just isn't this fun. It's just like finding documents and diaries. Whereas in this one, it's magical bookshelves where it turns off the fire and gives you access to um, her attic. Like I loved this so much. So we can climb up here. And this will bring us here. The fires turn back on. And like we're really in Lara's attic, like we're super in the attic. We can pull this back. I guess this gives you an introduction to some block puzzling, block pushing. But um, yeah, there's some flares there. Now that door is time still, so that's why we opened the attic door earlier. So I might give you a quick tour of the attic before I pull that lever. But yeah, the craft manor in this game is so good. I mean, I wish the rest of the game was like that, but it isn't. I mean, it like has a lot of going for it. I mean, I love the outfits, I love the fashions of the third game, but I mean, that's not gameplay, that's just costume design. <laughs> but yeah, this is the attic. This is actually around Lara's bedroom. You'd see this window because you can see down to her balcony. And um, I don't think there's any pickups here. Um, I believe it's just, you know, platforming puzzles, but you do want to open that attic door ahead of time if you haven't already, because what we're gonna do now is pull the lever and we are going to run like our life depends on it. So you just want to head down here. Make sure that attic door is open. And then do a 180. And then make your way in. So that was plenty of timing. I think it's more forgiving. I mean, I know I kind of speed around that, but yeah, enough time. So we make our way down here. The trophy and the carpet and all that stuff is gone. Instead, what we actually discover Lara has is her very own fish tank. Isn't this gorgeous? I mean, it looked even cool in the old graphics. But um, like to me, this is just so iconic. I mean, she has an extra library. She just sits and reads a book and looks out at her fishes. I mean, this to me, like it's funny because Lara Croft, I think when Crystal Dynamics got on it, to me, it felt very like, obviously, you no, know, she's cropped old money. And you know, she can still be old money. She still can be an aristocrat. But I think I guess I kind of always loved how to me this felt very like new money. And it kind of makes sense because in the original core design bio, when her parents cut her off, she decided that she still wanted that comfortable life. I mean, they gifted her the manor, but she wrote travel books and went on all of her explorations and she killed Bigfoot to fund that. And so even though, because she is a self-earned, you know, rich person in this version, um, because again, she was cut off from her parents. It, you know, there is elements of new money to this because it makes her feel young and kind of frivolous, which is like kind of what I like about it. I mean, she can still be intelligent and all those other things, but um, you know, of course she's still frivolous. I like all the extra details they've added here into the, the aquarium. And these fishes won't harm you, obviously. Although it would be a very Lara Croft thing to do if they were piranhas. I feel like she'd probably put a shark in her aquarium just for funsies. But yeah, that what we got there was a key for the quad bike track. So I don't know if there's an achievement for quad biking. There probably is, probably doing it in a certain amount of time. But um, what you can do, 
of course now it's got access to the quad bike area so let's head out here oh let's have a look at Winston before we go let's see if the old belters uh let's see how he's doing I want to see how well he defrosts that's funny oh yeah I forgot in the new patch update they've added some new poses um they found a lot more in the debug version which I think is really interesting oh they won't let me draw weapons in this one well oh, that's silly that's funny oh Winston sorry old man I'm still locking you in <laughs> right so let's go out to the quad bike track then let Winston get nice and chilly you know it's a nice summer's day he needs to cool off we'll close this to keep the manor looking very elegant so let's head over here to the quad bike track and add in our race track key Is this the quad bike? It can have a lot of fun on this. I mean, it is a great way to get some vehicle practice. Although, like, the quad bike is, like, the easier vehicle in Tomb Raider 3 to control. If you're new to Tomb Raider 3, there is a kayak. And it's infamous. It's infamous for a reason. Um, it's an absolute nightmare. It operates like the devil. Um, but, yeah, I just love the quad bike. I mean, they really built the manor out. And, like, even the little effects they've had, like, a little fire in here. I think this is super cool. Come on, Lara, I'm probably on a timer here and you're not helping me. Ooh. Yeah. No achievement for that. <laughs> probably a better number to get, but um, 42. I'm not going to do this multiple times. I already did the assault course once. I'd say I can probably get it under 40 seconds or something. Probably an achievement to be had. But yeah, I just love that though. It does a little quad bike. It's such a craft thing to do. And again, it's more of a, you know, new money type thing. But yeah, I, if someone can put in the comments down below what the purpose of this room is, I'd really appreciate it. Because I never quite understood it. Um, but they built it for a reason. But like, you can only... Do you think it's a shortcut? Like, I, I don't know, to tell you the truth. Maybe it is a shortcut. I never assumed you could get the quad bike in there. I think the quad bike would fit through there, though. Let's try. Maybe that's... No, no this is genuine. Maybe after all this time, maybe that's the purpose of that thing. I, I actually don't know. I never... I always wondered about it, but I just thought there was some lore to it. Or maybe quad bike places would have them, or old British houses would have those places. Maybe they're like um, restrooms or something. I need to get better at the drifting. A bit of Mario Kart, you know? Come on, Lara, you can do this. This is so typical. Oh, that was worse. Nah, I give up. Not worth it not worth it i'm sure there is an achievement not in this playthrough and that really completes what the manor is um you can still get onto the roof and do all sorts of fun things but um there actually is a door now that you can leave the manor and it basically starts the game it brings you back to the main menu so we can do that now it's time for our third adventure and that completes the manner of Tomb Raider 3, which I think is super cool. It's the most comprehensive. Now, before we move to the main game, I want to show you one more tip and trick for the remaster you can do with the manor. If you click on the manor and hold your look button and your walk button for both modern controls and tank controls, and you load in, so she won't wear her sunglasses. You won't Welcome see those on her. Feel free to take a look around. But if you do that, and you make your way outside 
there's a quad bike waiting. So this is an Easter egg and a glitch because the thing is you can really, like the house isn't designed to be driven around a quad bike and she'll just drive through everything. And like, I mean, you can even run Winston over with the bike, which I think is funny. He won't fall though. Um, maybe if you had him in his bullet gear, he might fall over. But I mean, you can really like literally go through her house in the quad bike, which I think is so funny. Like, there's no collision. Like, she'll just drive through everything. But um, it's just a bit of fun at the end of the day. I mean, you can even try to do her gym with it. Uh, I think it's so funny. No. But um, ultimately, it's going to have one conclusion, which of course is killing herself because that's exactly what happens to a quad bike when it hits water. It will just blow into a million pieces and disintegrate. But yeah, it's a fun trick you can do if you want to have some fun in the manor, you want to just kill some time on your Nintendo Switch or something. Um, you can load up the quad bike and have it all around your house. Look how far we've come with the graphics. Damn. Right, let's start the main campaign of Tomb Raider 3. Let's go. So this is 5,000 years ago. Previous work times. This FMV used to really capture my imagination growing up a lot. They're not my favourite FMVs because Lara doesn't really feature that heavily in them, like in Tomb Raider 1 or 2. It's a lot more in-game cutscenes. Oh, we're gonna have subtitles this time, which is great because I never understood every bit of dialogue in this cutscene. The sound quality wasn't too good, so hopefully the subtitles will help fill that in for me. Because I think they use some slang as well. I've been yelling myself hoarse on this radio every day. It's just the weather dumps in us frequently here, and maybe my transmission doesn't get through. I don't know. I can't understand one word of what you say. It's all going swell, sir. And you okay? Sunglasses. Get the bit up! Get it out! And the AI of scaling is crazy. Turn it off! Off! Hey! Switch it off! Ooh. Ah. Sore. Easter Island? Oh. What? Billy! It's not I Easter Island. I the lore of this one is interesting. Terminator 2 is still my favourite lore, but this one... I wouldn't underestimate it. It's really interesting what they come up with in the third one. Again, Vicky Arnold. Little genius. This place has a busy history. Oh, look at that loading screen, that's beautiful. And here we are in the jungle of Tomb Raider 3. Oh, I think stunning, 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 stunning. Well, let's get straight into it and let's get our first secret. Now, I've never done an all-secrets run of Tomb Raider 3, so let's see how we get on with this. I know where the first one is. Everybody knows about this one. Even non-gamers know about this one. Am I missing though? Medipacks up here. I'm not like that's how unfamiliar I am with Tomb Raider 3. I don't really go into it expecting to get all secrets. And uh, that's the shot. Is that the same one from Tomb Raider 2? I think she's supposed to have another type of shotgun, number 3. But uh, check out the cheeky monkey. Isn't that cute little monkey? Little guy. Um, I'm going to be doing like a pacifist run. I will not be shooting the monkeys until they. I think they become angry in the second level because someone says as you get closer to the temple that didn't go the way I was imagining it to go as you get closer to the temple they get like more possessed by whatever the demon is so 
like we have to start killing them in level two but we're gonna do a pacifist run i'm gonna try and grab the key before the monkey takes it at the end of the level for those who are familiar because i don't want to kill the monkey and yeah i can't believe i lost so much health this won't be a no meta run well he's like washed jenny any hope of doing that but this is our second secret there are save crystals however i believe we can save anywhere we want i'm guessing there's obviously going to be an achievement if you can save under a certain amount of times which i will not be in that minority i'm going to be saving anywhere i can i am not going for that achievement i think if i can just get to get through the game without it pissing me off it's a win for everyone which makes me sound like i really hate the game it's not that i really hate it it's just you know it's not my favorite um i'm glad i waited for the patch update because the major one is that out here you can see that this is actually quicksand because you can see it moving if we look at it it's it wobbles and um, before the patch update there was lots of complaints that people were just walking into it expecting it to be ground because it was flat still and people you know it was quicksand and there was no hint but even though on the old graphic you could see the hint there's another secret here i always knew about these ones these were always the easier secrets this is beautiful I mean, they really went all out for two motor three. I think it's because this was the first one to have colored lighting in the game engine. So probably when they're doing the AI upscaling, they are taking real good advantage of that. Um, they've definitely gone for artistic changes in terms of the time of day and other things. But I think because the presentation is very striking, it's probably going to be well accepted among the community um maybe it does become a bit more glaring that tomb raider 2 had the least amount of care put into it even though that's the most popular of the trilogy so the most of any of the games but um you know middle child syndrome and all that so you can actually do a, a shortcut there you can cl you can climb over that grass and get to the ending but we're not going to do that we're going to obviously play the game cozily in case you are relying on this as a walkthrough a chill chaotic unexperienced walkthrough and um i guess where i want to begin is stealing the medipack from the first monkey although i think this one drops it off i don't think you don't have to rush for this medi if you don't want to kill him and um, let's just hop down here carefully and what you're going to see is this cheeky monkey appear here i uh, can um, have it so he'll grab your monk the, mon the monkey will grab the small medi and actually bring you over to a hint so i was watching some old like interviews and beta content of tomb raider 3 and the developers had made it very clear that the point of the monkeys is that if you didn't shoot them they would guide you they wouldn't just you know steal things from you but they'd actually guide you to different parts of the map and show you where to go and if you were behaving yourself and you didn't shoot the monkey and um, you would be rewarded because tomb raider 3 is a more confusing level i wish they had done that in all sections of the game i mean you can't really put a monkey in london which is probably the most problematic uh, area of the game and so i suppose antarctica you're not monkey friendly but um i think it is a nice hint and i think they probably could have went further with that um in the game so all you want to do guys is pull this and that's going to come at you and just let it pass um when I do my first saved game, because I'm not that I'm going for the achievement, but I'm, I don't want to bore you too much by going into inventory and doing a save game. But when we do our first save game, I will load back in and put on our sunglasses because obviously we're outside for the majority of India, really. So we can totally have her wear our sunglasses because I believe in Tomb Raider 2, I only found out about the sunglasses by the time I had completed the uh, Venice section. Oh wait, can, you can totally fall into the water. I will show you though, just in the presence of doing a full walkthrough. Um, as a general rule, you shouldn't really come into the water because there are piranhas and your genius here didn't save. But um, there is a medi in that situation. So I suppose it's worth it because we have nothing on us. Yeah, general rule in the India levels, don't hop into the water, you will be eaten alive by the fish, the not friendly fish, like in Lara's garden or in her aquarium. But uh, that one is safe because it does bring you here. <laughs> okay, where are we? 
and we're back here. Okay, let's try that again. The things to do for a small medi. Well, considering I lost a chunk of my health at the start for no real reason other than carelessness, and proceed to the next section. I think Zank probably turned up a bit more so I can enjoy it. Let's come in and then we'll see some tigers. Not to spoil it for you. Straight from China of two meter two. I can't kill the monkeys, guys. I just I can't do it. But, hey, look, this time around, we put our sunglasses on. Take it from the top, speed run. <laughs> right, so we haven't killed any monkeys just yet. Let's try and not do that. Okay, guns away. <laughs> Don't be killing any monkeys in this, you know, not this level. Kosher, kosher, kosher. Let's quickly grab this before the monkey steals it. Look at him coming for it. I see you. Yeah, I gotta be real careful of that cheeky monkey. So yeah, this is my <laughs> kosher let's play. Again, this has not really been a game I've ever really attempted to do an all secrets run of. So you're kind of watching me figure it out for the first time, like real in-depth figuring it out. You're always like, any secrets anywhere? Um, okay, monkey boy, you need to watch out, or girl. Of course, I have her sunglasses on her, so she's looking stunning as she runs from this boulder. Yeah, look at her running from the boulder. <laughs> Icon. So let's run up here and grab the flare. The playing map, from what I understand with this version, with this game, the third one, they were able to do some optimizations, so they were able to dramatically increase the size of the playing area of each level. They could fit more memory um, that the PlayStation could handle. Proceed onwards and grab the lever. I do like the footprints on the mud. I wish they brought that over to Tomb Raider 1 and 2. They should do that on a patch update. See, this one's less clear here, but I think the point was it was supposed to be like less foliage, which is how you could get through. With the 3D assets, I think it's less clear. The music is an absolute banger in this one. Sometimes the lack of foliage makes it easier to see if there's any pickups. I mean, like, look at the difference. Isn't that incredible? They really put all their energy into 2 meter 3. <laughs> like, isn't that incredible, though? What a glow up. Perfect 
stone. So I love that you're climbing this fallen over big tree. But if we go here, we can get some MP5 ammo. So in the third game, the big automatic rifle changes from an M16 to an MP5. And I believe the difference is you can shoot and run at the same time. Um, I think it still affects your aim and targeting and precision, but it's not really like the M16 where most of the time she wasn't really able to run and shoot. She kind of had to stand still. Um, it's a lighter, it's a lighter assault rifle, shall we say. So I know there's definitely a secret here. This might be the first save of the level. Let's go in and save. And let's do a roll. And we're going to climb in here and get a secret. I also read online there was a lot of people struggling to get Lara out of a crawl space on modern controls. But apparently I read online that if you hold the walk button, she can go backwards. They weren't able to get her to go backwards on the modern controls because obviously she'd spin around. And that's a really interesting tidbit. So you just want to be really careful here. Yep. Lovely. Let's grab these. I think I see another pickup. You can get these because we're coming back here anyway, but I'm just going to get them now. Just to kind of make this easier for you to follow, I suppose, in case you are using it as a walkthrough. Again, this is my first time trying to get all secrets, so I don't think this is probably going to be the best walkthrough. But I know a lot of you would appreciate it, so I'm going to do it. A for effort. You want to be walking through these spikes and just remember once you jump you better be grabbing onto something because if you don't she'll impale herself so yeah you want to make sure you really grab that ledge the first time you do it and this will bring us back here so let's just there's the monkey to greet us and we can just make our way through Lara loitering in this jungle, we're going to put flares into their ecosystem. Some poor monkey might eat it by accident. And let's move on. Now that monkey, where is he going? Is there any other pickups in this area? See, again, I really don't know this game that well. I mean, obviously not as it, but I never really... It is such a mind cluster at some times. I'm just like... Like the maze ones, like K of the Kayala. Honestly, it's all to play for. Who knows? No, I'm not. I'm not going to do it. I was gonna, you know what I was gonna do? I was gonna try to jump up there, but if she can't do it the first time, I'm not gonna even bother. I'll get the uh, the save crystal another way. So let's like that way. Let's hop here. Sorry, sometimes you know like when you have to switch to old graphics. Yeah, because the graphics are so good, it's like you lose your like. Is that three clicks? <laughs> Precision platforming, tank controls for the win. I just don't like sliding down these ones because you just never know. I can totally see her sliding down the wrong way, which is kind of always what worries me. Okay. Whew. I was nervous about that. So Tomb Raider 3 is the first game that has the concept of triangles. So the geometry can look a little more natural, but it's not really... Her basic control set, even the way she slides down slopes, isn't really designed for triangles. So they can really send her in any direction. If you're ever sliding down a triangle, always look for squares, flat squares. Um, even the level editor, I would try to avoid using triangles for like slopes and stuff. Um, yeah, poor monkey, don't come in here. Look at you. So obviously, guys, you need to run. If I was the monkey, I would not. It's gonna survive. There's no, you know, the game isn't cruel, but God, the monkey's got nine lives. But another thing you can do is you can hop up here, and there's a secret here. Mm -hmm. 
Also, I believe another animation they added in is this one. It's a tiny one, but in the original, Lara couldn't ever pick up an item in that position. She'd always have to be like in this crouching position. If she went on all fours like that, she wouldn't be able to pick an item up. So they did add in some quality of life improvements that if you're not, like if you're a new gamer, like you'd be like, why isn't she picking it up? Like, you know, she's right on top of it, like would, I think would add frustration. So I think it is really cool that they've added just those little um, extras for new players. And look at the tiger. This is a great spot to get him from. Oh, yes, never mind. Is it dead? Yeah. If you're a new player, I would actually recommend saving here just because there are some boulders. There's a secret, but there's also some boulders and I don't want to get caught out by them because with the new geometry looking so beautiful, I might get distracted. So I'm not really precious if I don't uh, get an achievement for saving under a certain amount of times. I mean, once I get to London, you know I'm saving every bloody corner. I feel like this is the most unsafe way to come in because we're going to be the closest to the boulders from here. Yeah, don't do that. Ooh, they're coming. Watch out, monkey. If you're new, hiding behind a tree, not a bad idea. So we need to go up here. Oh, watch out for that one. One on reserve. So this is oh, an interesting secret to get to because there's spikes down here. I've saved, so I'm fine. She could impale herself. Oh no, you got it. The game is so much harder now when you have to take into account achievements. The last time I played this, I did play the PlayStation version, it has better graphics than the PC, more effects and stuff. Um, the resolution is better on PC, but the effects aren't as good. But the reason the thing I, was, I played on PS1 back in 2016 or something, but oh, I saw me sweat there. Um, I was using an emulator, so I could just use save states. Yeah, interestingly enough, the last time I played Tomb Raider 3 was 2016, because I was having orthopedic surgery. I know, I, I broke my leg and I'm having more orthopedic surgery, but I had major orthopedic surgery. I just had turned 20 years old. It was taking forever to heal. Loaded up the emulator. I went through all the classic Tomb Raider games. So I hadn't really played Tomb Raider 2 or Tomb Raider 3 since 2016. I played Tomb Raider 1 in 2020 because that's on my YouTube channel you can watch me play it but yeah it's been nearly a good seven years since I've played number three because I love these games but the thing is it's like you don't want to burn out and play them too much and it's a real nice treat that I can come back with three master so what's great is you can see that there's water flow from this river I think that's beautiful and there is a little secret here so in the patch update which I'm so glad I waited for water has currents so in the lost valley remember when i did the tomb raider one playthrough if you'd seen that there was no currents in the lost valley when there should have been they've added that in and i think it just makes a huge difference it looks beautiful and gorgeous right i think but there is a reason i should be climbing here well i think i might be too early if i see a trap door but I might be too early for that because look, I can kind of just go over there and do a grab. Okay, let's hop into the water first. I guess it's the first temple with the two levers, isn't it? It is. Excellent. It's really interesting because obviously I haven't played this game in seven years, but you play it a lot growing up, so the memories I have just from childhood. As long as you get older and an adult, you have less time on your hands. But I really have been enjoying making my YouTube videos. These used to be the moodiest temples. The PS1 visuals was the way to experience it. This is like the PC rendering. Um, but the lighting looks pretty good on this one. I remember that the fire was more atmospheric in the PlayStation. 
compared to the PC. Is that a pushable block? Oh, it's a secret. This is news, like I actually have no idea. And I mean that genuinely. Oh, I was always supposed to do this. Convenient way and I thought I was getting in on something there. Honestly, a little sus. What's that do? Outside. Flooded some water, fantastic, but maybe I shouldn't have. Did I kill my chance of getting a secret by doing that? I feel like there could be a boulder in here. I don't like... There's a trap door. I don't know what any of this means. Did I pull this too prematurely? This is my favorite music track from the third game. I'm actually nervous about secrets. Um. Why is this important? Why? What was the point in that, we think? <laughs> Random. Okay, that's folks. We're, we're in it now. Okay, we've come from here. Did I mess anything up for myself by flooding this area too soon? It's beautiful though, the graphics are stunning. Stunning! But look how big the map is. I mean, they were able to really connect it all together. This, I believe, is Heather Gibson's last level before she moved on from doing the Tomb Raider games. She moved on to a game prod called Project Eden, um, which didn't really succeed the way Tomb Raider did, but obviously as a creative, she was just happy to move on and do a new project. I believe she works in the film industry now, and I'm not surprised that she's a production designer because this is some good production design. You can see that she really has the eye for it. Yeah, I think this is cool. Okay. I honestly can't tell what's been added for design. I'm like happy to be here, but why am I here? <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> that's all. That's why I'm always so nervous about it with these games. I know I need to focus because I'm actually. I need to get in there. I know that we have to climb this waterfall. But I'm a little unclear. See, this is where the confusion of Tomato 3 starts to, to intervene and keep in mind we're only on level one. <laughs> so from what I understand, I think we can climb this one. And we can make our way out onto the waterfall. And let me just check my statistics. Oh, I got all secrets. Okay, so guys, you probably saw me sweating because I was like, am I going to get all secrets in this level? <laughs> Turns out, don't matter. I think you can probably just be cheeky and climb in there, but I'm enjoying these water textures so, so much. Now let's climb onto this platform and see what's up here. Right, I feel a lot better knowing that I've got all secrets. That has taken the pressure off me immensely. Like, look at the way they added the, like, go you can tell that the, uh, the game designer, Tomb Raider 3, is their favourite. I mean, look, I don't hold it against them. If that meant they gave Tomb Raider 2 less polish, I mean, they should go back and add the extra polish to Tomb 2. But you can really just tell that they really love Tomb Raider 3. Like, I, don't, I, didn't, I, like, I wouldn't want Tomb Raider 2 to be polished up more at the expense of this. It's more like, I wish just Tomb Raider 2 got the same level of polish. So, do you remember how, like, in 
the first two games we played together if you you know pull the lever it kind of show you where to go not in this one this one's a lot more elusive this one's more you pull a lever and you kind of hope you know where it's going yeah you pull that lever these double doors open i guess but this is what's stunning about tomb raider 3 is just how expansive this map is i mean you're literally going everywhere so that was the three branch thing and i would have zip lined i would have climbed here too late now on we go we got all secrets that's the main thing maybe i'm missing a weapon pickup so we got pistols and we got a shotgun maybe i'm missing another weapon but well i know my two meter three however i know what's in store for us so that's why i'm not too worried about getting weapons so far <laughs> Lar. So, got that tiger. Oh, shotgun shells. Yes, please. I think someone was saying that the game should have autosave. And I was like, uh. But what I would agree and say that in the patch, they should have done a patch update where when you got to a new level, it would autosave. Because I've accidentally quit the game in Tomb Raider 1 before I learned my lesson the hard way. And like I had to play an entire level. It was Vilcabamba. Yeah, I had to play Vilcabamba all over again on camera to go back to level three. Because I got to level three, I needed to restart the level, accidentally exited to title, and I had to do level two all over again. Yeah, so they've moved the key, which it used to be here and now it's here. I really don't want the monkey to get it because I, I really don't want to shoot this monkey. Okay, I have a strategy. Oh, damn it. When was the last time I saved? <laughs> Sorry, monkey, I'll make it quick. I'll make it quick for you. Ah, so close. But I tried. Monkey, that's the main thing you should know I tried. Let's grab the pistols. Maybe if I'd done a backflip behind me and then done like a jump. Mm. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. Well, there goes that achievement. Oh, actually, I probably know a way to get the achievement if I really want it. Um, there's no point saving. So let's use the key, the, in the Indra key and move on to the next level. This is the first we get to meet Tony, which I'm really excited to see in HD graphics. I'm turning up the volume, I'm going to enjoy this. Look how far we've come. Oh, no. Look at Tony. Tony the goon, the loon. <laughs> Are you all right? Well, you'd all stop. He's going crazy by the Inchata artifact. Just a hundred percent. Just go. What's funny though is because they can use their mouths now, the head shaking about? looks funny. Because obviously they were doing the head shaking when the mouths were moving. And chattering and breaking my brain up. Hmm. Well, I'm not quite sure where you're coming from. But I just want to know about the Infada artifact. In the temple up there. <laughs> voodoo magic and all, huh? I don't touch this stuff myself. It's not voodoo. Look, is there anyone else here with you? Yeah, Randy and Rory. Randy and Rory? Where? What are you all doing here? Well, they're staying put in that temple. I told them not to. I warned them first. Not doing much now, I doubt, under half a ton of mudslide. Me. I'm leaving. Next bus out. This jungle is rooted enough rot into me. 
I'd offer the same advice to you, but you don't seem like the type to take it. To care if I said you're gonna die in there. <laughs> yeah, die. Losing of mind. Oh, she looks so good. So this was jungle. It probably took me longer than that because um, I paused it when I killed the first monkey. Little did I realise that I'd have to kill the monkey at the end anyway. Damn it. Um, I missed one pickup. Not quite sure where. It's probably something to do with that zipline thing that I saw on the map. But yeah, I'm happy with this. Walk through enough, hopefully for most of you, if you are following this as a walkthrough. So this is if you're doing a speed run. This is how you would do it. Look, I might even get an achievement for doing the shortcut. Now, I don't know if you can do the shortcut on modern controls. I feel like you probably can. If you're going to use modern controls, I recommend doing it like a racing game. You steer Lara with the right analog stick and you just keep her forward when moving upwards. Yeah, look, the modern controls are excellent for, for getting the, the hack done. That's really interesting. Well, yeah, the steering stuff would really help you out with modding and Let's see if I do this. Oh, that's one way to get the key. So you can do that. And you can get the key without triggering the monkey. So is my assumption correct that if you guys are doing this yourself? Yeah, I wreck it. This, so this is what I should have done to have done the kosher run of jungle. Is I should have done this and done a 180. And done that. I wouldn't have triggered it at all. Oh, you can enable the sunglasses in the cutscenes. You just hold it down as you walk into a cutscene. Look at that. The John Lennon sunglasses look so good. They're so iconic. Anyway, let's proceed now until Temple Ruins properly and in earnest. So we're going to begin here in Temple Ruins. We're going to keep the sunglasses on because we are still outside. Um, this, these new visuals are going to make snakes harder because this level introduces snakes. I got poisoned. Oh, damn it. Yeah, yeah, I see you too. <laughs> We're off to a rock and start, but I'm being conservative about how much I save. Oh man, I'm just gonna de-snake the area before I take a health kit, just in case. Okay, let's do it. Let's do a small health pack. Watching the snake pop out. So we gotta do some snake busting in this level, but before we proceed, let's pull that lever. That sounded like an outside door, to tell you the truth. Who knows what that did. So, <laughs> Jungle Runes is where I really started to get confused. Again, I don't, I've never, growing up I didn't play Tomb Raider 2 near, or Tomb Raider 3 nearly as much as Tomb 2 or Tomb 1. Well, I played Tomb 1 so much recently that I kind of just remembered it by osmosis. No, that's not what osmosis is. Just by the fact that I played it so much with frequency. So I'm a little out of my depth here. Oh, the game is trying to insinuate that she crawled out. That's what the level designers did. Mm, where does that bring us? Oh, it opened this hatch. Right. I was like, I heard a hatch somewhere. I'm kind of worried about bloody snake. I feel like snakes would be here. So again, Jungle was the last level made by Heather Gibson and the original game designers from the first two games. So there's going to be a real change in how the game is going forward. This is a brand new team of level designers. I also believe that um, Neil is no longer working on Tomb Raider 3. Yeah, they all went to Project Eden, if I remember correctly. So what's out here? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have some stuff to do before we go here, right? Gotta be real careful. Uh, uh, 
Yeah, yeah, they're all attacking now. Yeah, I forgot. The monkeys are evil in this one. Just making sure. I should have met Lara get poisoned from the monkeys too. That would have been funny. Because like rabies. I'm thinking of that is the area I'm thinking of but I think we were supposed to do that earlier weren't we oh that's multiple ways it's gonna fish I think if you fall into the water by accident and you survive maybe that's what happens right this is where we used to be <laughs> the thing is so I think with this one with two meter three there's often a lot of blocks just you know to add shape to the geometry but because we're so accustomed to platforming having meaning you'll just see me hopping onto blocks thinking that like it'll bring me somewhere where in reality it might bring me nowhere but i mean this one's real obvious so if this doesn't bring me anywhere i'm gonna be so angry um i checked google really quickly there are four secrets in this level that i need to find if i want to stay on track to doing all hollows so normal rules apply if i don't get the secret the first time you won't watch me play the entire level the second time. I'll just do an edited down version of showing you where the secrets are. But let's see if I'm on a roll, because I was on a roll with two meter two. So there are piranhas in the water. So be very careful. But they won't get you on shallow water, I believe. Oh, look at them coming. Nibble at me. So it's kind of like a, you know, real face your fears type level. Piranhas don't follow. Haven't saved yet because I'm trying to preserve my saves. I think the idea of me getting an achievement for not too many saves is out the window. But... I'll give it a try. The, the reason why it's out the window is that as soon as we get to London, I'm saving in every damn corner. Nevada, pretty good. Like, I'll live. South Pacific, pretty good. I mean, the last level of Nevada, what about all the rolling things? A bit of a pain in the bum. But London is kind of where like, I need to save. The boss battle of London is actually the easiest of all the boss battles. And the London level section was originally going to even be even longer i think it was going to be like the marquee section of tomb raider 3 like the, the heavily advertised one she's in the cool cat suit she's in the city but they cut all hollows and made it um a bonus level because i think it was too difficult on play testing so i kept it in only for the most expert of expertise players that sentence made no sense apologies i'm just trying to concentrate Look at that elephant baby. Mm. They got the horizon right here. Why didn't they not just copy it for the first level? Or maybe they're trying to tell time of day. Like she started out early, sunrise, and now this is more like an afternoon. <laughs> an afternoon expedition. Whoa. Look how far we've come, besties. Like we've come from this. This. No monkeys surviving this playthrough. I should have just killed you all when I have the chance. I can hop here. Am I going to be rewarded if I do? The answer is no. Let's go into the dark cave, everybody's favorite thing. Those are playing a game called Tumor. Ooh! Look at him doing a roll. <laughs> Little cheeky bugger. So this is beautiful. Stunning. Look at the pranas, they're already in formation underneath me. <laughs> so I've got some tree hopping ahead of us. I bet this is the... Oh, thank you. 
um, I feel like this is probably the main pathway and this is like if we want the goodies and we do want the goodies foliage makes it harder in this version but the lighting's better it's, it's, a, it's a real trade-off it's like foliage to make things more dense or poor lighting that you need a crack of flare oh two meter three folks on the playstation was such a dark game like the gamma was turned all the way bonkers like a high high contrast so like those london novels were pitch black Oof. tank control precision ladies gentlemen and my non-binary pals that's what it's all about we are raiding like a boss like a doom raider and this one should be a much more straightforward run and jump yeah i didn't save once time to restart so i guess i'll catch up with you later right i'm back and i have actually some bad news to report even though i've only saved the game four times it's counting it as six and that is because I showed you the shortcut version um, of Jungle and I saved twice and yet it seems accumulative even though that was a new game and it should have been separately. Whatever way this works it's actually working against me so I'm actually down two saves which is a little frustrating I must be honest with you about. Um, I, I don't know what can be done. Um, it's kind of one of those what's done is done type things. So that's pissed me off a little bit. Um, but anyway, but I've say I've six save crystals so far, so I'm actually on sync. If I do try to get, but like I, I was trying to stockpile some saves maybe for London. No, I don't think it's gonna happen, folks. <laughs> I don't think it's in my. I don't see it in my future. Especially because the way the save system works is accumulative. And actually maybe I should have been smarter about it because I remember when I did Tomb Raider 1 and I had done New Game Plus I was noticing I was catching it doing that. Very frustrating bug for those who are trying to get the achievement. Anyway we've no secrets so far which I'm a little nervous about but hopefully um, you know that doesn't mean I've muffed it. If I miss a secret already and I discover that I'll just do a restart level um because I wasn't really thinking about slots I'll just you know throw her off a building or something mm. the water is beautiful it comes naturally to us let's hop in here Lara's well, sunglasses are probably actively working against her at this very moment For shimmy. Gotcha. I don't hate Tomb Raider 3. I don't want it to come across like that. I'm just saying it's less fun. Like, you know, by now in Tomb Raider 2, we'd be on a speedboat in the canals of Venice. <laughs> and instead, we're just in some generic jungle of India. No, um, this is fun. You know, it's atmospheric. India is a good part of Tomb Raider 3. Like it's like I love the legend of London, but she just ain't fun to be around. London always seems like a fun idea at the time, but then you grow to regret it. <laughs> uh, okay, so we've made it over to the side of the pond. Look at them. Look at those piranhas. They're chomping up a bit for us. Oh, look at that snake. Oh! Because, yay, I died and I had to restart the level. I uh, haven't used the health kit. I did like a perfect run. The piranhas didn't get me, didn't get snake bite. I mean, you'd hope so because I knew where everything was. So, got the flares. 
I wonder if there's any pickups here. No. So, let's start here. I see a snake. Look at it. Ooh. That's really interesting. The snake, it isn't, um, like, remember I keep telling you two on a grid system of squares? It doesn't seem to be square specific. It must be more related to radius. Okay, so this is your first point in our return. Sure, hope I haven't missed the secret. Yeah, this is peak two meter three behavior. I'm telling you, I'm gonna be on edge. You are literally looking around every bloody corner. Just think of like an achievement for you doing that. That's just how you that's how you know you're being dropped into into, into insanity. I don't think this one comes alive. But there's Shiva, D and D and goddess, which of course we see and we're like, we must shoot. That's not pushable. The texture work is beautiful. If I remember correctly, growing up, I had a Game Boy game called Tomb Raider and um, the Prophecy, and I believe they copied textures from India. Remember these textures well. They're beautiful textures. I wonder, even the originals are beautiful textures. I mean, I wonder, if they were from a book or they're from history or they were just designed by an artist because some textures you see and they're like that's stunning like i know the dolphins from Pallas midas were actually like historical architecture which i think is really interesting someone on twitter found the source of it so she was about to come alive i'm not too concerned Pistols is a good idea because she can block your bullets. Oh, this is cool though. I like how she's looking. I like the music too. We're having a standoff, Shiva. Release your swords. Girls. No, she ain't bothering me. What's the point of over there? I think it's a Pushka block. Okay, we'll come down and face you. She may also be glitched. That, that was funny. She didn't attack me until I switched back to old graphics. This better not be bugged. Look at the way her head's moving, but not the rest of her. This is like the worst boss fight ever. I'll deal with you later. Isn't there a secret in here? <laughs> That's how unbothered I am. She's like, excuse me. I think I can get it from up here. I think we can glitch it. Uh, pull this. This is more plot related, I think. But I think there is a secret here. Ooh. Duck. <laughs> I don't want to get poisoned by this stupid thing. <laughs> How did we not die? 
how did we not die? How did we not die from that boulder? Thank you, janky hitbox detection. <laughs> Once that boulder stopped rolling, I was like, nah, no harm. Because I feel like even if it didn't hit you, the, the weight of it, you would probably feel like... You know, like when they say if an explosion goes off, what kills you in the radius is like the vibrations, like it just like decimates your organs. I know it's kind of gross, but like, I thought it'd be similar. At the vibration of the boulder. I love that they added this in. This was a deleted move from Tomb Raider 3, but it just makes everything a lot quicker. I should better do something. Okay, so this is pushable. I'm dealing with her in small, small doses. <laughs> I must have shaved a good bit of health off her. Like maybe if I get the shotgun out now and I blast it. What we really need to do though is get like up behind her. This is how we played it in the old days. And that's gonna do it for you, hun. That's cool. So I pulled the lever and there seems to be two more here. I mean, I pulled the lever in the trap door. Now, if you're new to Tomb Raider 3, I wouldn't be as silly as I am and just, you know, not save. I think in fact, if you're playing this for the first time, you should save plenty. Um, because there's lots of traps in this level. Like there's some famous spikes up there. Come, it's gonna come right out. So obviously each will have a door key for us. My recollection of this level, poor, so poor. Oh, they died on top of each other. Okay, no Shiva here from the looks of it. Wasn't there like falling ceilings in this level? <laughs> like this level's an absolute troll. I feel like we need to fill this with water. These look like the platforms of a boss battle. Yeah, we got an underwater lever there. Is there some water in this room? We need to do a switcheroo. Oh, I'm not falling for this. Is this the one with the invisible platforms? No. I will say though. So I'm back after a short break. The good news is I did a quick Google. There is no save game achievement for Tomb 3. So we can save anywhere we want as many times as we want. So that has gone out the window. I'm sorry folks. This level is an absolute troll to play with. So um we're going to be saving everywhere and everywhere that was very unelegant <laughs> once i find out there was no achievement i was like bye <laughs> yeah this was the collapsing floor i was thinking of so no thank you uh i'm not going to get poisoned by that for no reason and we're just going to try that again. Let me just try and trigger some of these off. Let's observe the area, but actually it's over there we need to be in. Let's stay low. You think they'd put like a 3D object for a dart. You think they'd do something. But let's climb up here. Hopefully this ladder doesn't have oh they should have fixed it. The um with the zoom. 
Right. Let's hope nothing lands on me. Okay, I think we've cleared the ceiling. That looks good. Good job. I think there's some broken ceiling over there, maybe. Oh no, it's boulder. I can see the boulder from there. Let's do a nice run and jump. Okay, this could be shimmied on. Thankfully it is. And let's climb up it. Now forgive me if I'm doing this level backwards or anything. Well I see a snake waiting for me. That's a fun one. How do you get in there? You know it's, it is slopey. I don't think there'd be enough momentum to reach that. I mean, I don't think so. Or at least I don't like my odds. Fabulous. Oh, I forgot to load up with the sunglasses. I'll do it the next time I save. Stick to the corner. Stick to the corner. Um... Well, sure, I might as well just save now, just in case there is a way to get into that room from here. Uh, yeah, we completed jungle. Happy with that. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think that's the way. Let me put the sunglasses back on. I do like the instant load. Isn't this level fun? Bloody hell. I think they look like they're different heights. I feel like your odds are better with this one now. Or maybe they're the same height. Watch a boulder just go. <laughs> I'll take this. Ooh. Ground, that's pushable. Am I missing anything down here? Can I? There's something down there. Am I gonna slide? No? Okay. Now, can Lara crouch while Perfect. What's the secret? Sweet. So we got two out of four. I can't believe it got me through the wall. Do I get my health back if I take a crystal? Oh, like the PC version. Come on, help a brother out. Okay, and this brings me back here. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Fine, whatever. Um, let's see if I can reach that. That would be a no. Grand though, so that was a secret then. Let's do the long climb back up here. Look at her testing me. That's a punishment for getting that secret, I'll tell you. Testing my last nerve, Lara. <laughs> I'm now inside the one if that secret's bloody worth it. Look at the high deafness of that snake though. That is a high quality asset. Ugh. 
Why did I press the sprint button? Oh, here we go again. I'm doomed to never leave this area. I meant to press crouch. Right, it's no longer canon that I got bitten by a snake. So I have one more medipack because I died. Oh, I cannot believe I hit that button. This is like my ninth time climbing the stupid ladder, dear Jeezy. Dear Jeezy. It's good to know though that the um the pickup or the, the pushable blocks of the statue look super out of place. So I hopefully if there is any secret that involves the statue, we'll spot it from a mile away. Oh what's this? Oh, I hate these ones. They always make you wonder if you're missing anything. That's the same colour as that one. Oh no. Oh no. Well, we're in another room now. Right, I'm sure there's probably a secret behind these blocks. You know what I can do? I'm gonna cheat. Be a little cheater now and see if there's anything behind here. Can I still get in? Okay, there's nothing behind that one. <laughs> I was just double checking. Um. Mm -hmm. I don't see anything. Okay, good to know. I pushed him in anyway, just in case there's an achievement. But photo mode wins again. I am such a cheat. Yeah, there, there ain't nothing in here. <laughs> Don't be on that wall. Didn't think of that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. That could be it. Like, there could be a secret behind that one. Let's have a look. Watch me. I'll watch my utter disappointment when there is not. Oh. No. Okay. Just Lara doing some good old fashioned block pushing. Right, so. I know there's boulders above me, so let's do another save. Look at them waiting so politely. They're like, you just go a little bit further. I'd say I could probably get a more epic camera view with the modern controls because you could swing it behind you. But uh, yeah, nothing but that behind me. Excuse me. Oh, well, glad I didn't land there. <sighs> I know. Petty. Okay, we've cleared that area. But I haven't done anything. Have I missed picking up something real obvious? Like what was the point of raiding this tomb? The archaeologist keenly asks. Do you know, like why I was that achieved nothing? Is that just all for nothing? Did this fill the water? Did Have I missed something real obvious? Oh my god, Lara, run from the boulder! Some of that. God, I have to do that backwards on modern controls. That ain't talent, I don't know what is. 
Okay, I mean, I missed something clearly. <laughs> oh, we've begun. This is 2 meter 3, alright. This is peak 2 meter 3. This has to be filled with water. So. Yeah. No, I did. Only 10 crimes. I didn't pick anything up. I love this for me. Oh, fab. Here she goes, here she goes, she goes. It's like a mudslide. Or a quicksand slide. <laughs> no. Mm. Yeah, I remember that. Me thinky boulder coming. Oh no, I can just mud. The shadows of the old graphics though helped because <laughs> save again. Now I remember this one is like you're gonna take a health hit, which is why they gave you the small medi. So let's just check my health. I'll give it a go. Here goes that. Although, I did brilliant. Like, I mean, could you fault that? Could you fault that? Look at that monkey doing rolls and dive. Oh, there goes another one. That was, like, flawless. Flawless. Um, what do we have here? It's like an elevator? Ancient, Indian, ye old elevator. Uh, we can fully go around it. There is a switch. Is this a pushable block? It is. What do we need the pushable block for? There's a platform. Okay. Bit early. I'm looking a bit early for this. Let's push it over then and access this one. Very 3D. They did a nice job on that. Like there was a lot of attention put into the uh, D and D levels. Although I was wondering with the review embargo, the way they could let people preview the first level of each game. It makes you wonder if it was a front loaded to perfect the first levels because that's what the majority of people would play the most. I don't know, I don't think it's healthy to think about it that way. So, what do we have up here? Three out of four, we are killing it. Unless we missed one at the beginning of the level when we were outside. I'm kind of hopeful. <laughs> oh no, this seems more necessary. Necessary. Where the hell is that supposed to be? And there was a standing Shiva. Okay, well, it eluded some door. Yeah, because that's a secret, so it wouldn't be plot related now, would it? Oh, we saw a, a lever. Sorry, I was running around in circles, but there was a lever somewhere, wasn't there? Ah, oh, there was a lever here. Kind of an easy secret then, because we needed to use the push block. Mm. Is 
not water. Yeah. Oh, under skylight. Love that for us. Well, let's bring us out to Shiva. Playing scary music though. Well, I've got two choices. I don't know which one's the right one. Save. New slot. Oh, I need to pull two of them at the same time. Let me. Oh, no, no, don't do that. I was gonna say, let me catch my breath. Damn it. Ground. Okay, let me try that again. Now, I remember this part of the level. This has like the invisible flooring, right? So there's several levers. Let's just go over and explore this area first. Oh, I saw Shiva, is that? It's like me putting it off. What am I even doing? Okay, let's just deal with it. All right, girl. Girly. Han, I'm waiting for you. She knows. Pull these and see what happens. Let's open this door. What's in here? Closed. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Why would it close if it's just a secret? I thought this was going to be like some bloody puzzle. Uh, I'm a celeb. Get me out of here before I drown. Oh, okay. Okay, so now I've, I've had time to think. Yay. Four out of four secrets, killing it. But I guess you must need secret three to get secret four because whatever I pulled in secret three did trigger a camera view of that door. I know we did this one. That's really interesting. And that's closed again. So it must be a two-parter switch. What's that one do? I think I just saw my invisible platforms. What does this one do? This is gonna activate the Shiva. Oh, I activated some fire. Like, <laughs> is she gonna come alive? Trying to enjoy getting all the secrets, like I'm on a roll. Thank you very much. <gasps> right, so we've activated the platforms. Um, I'm gonna have a look if flares can help you. I know on the old graphics, Flares were really helpful. Oh yeah, they're so much more visible on old graphics. Talk about being done dirty. Yeah, if you're a new player, play on the old graphics. All oh, the flares help though. Okay. Are you going to activate on me now? It's timed. Are you kidding me? I kind of prefer the colour, the coloured lighting of the old graphics. Looks more eerie. 
even if it's like un quote unquote unnatural lighting, I think it just kind of helps give Tomb Raider its mystical flair. But I mean, look, this is the aesthetic decision they went with, so. Oh, I remember this stupid level. Why did I run in like this? Now, if I remember correctly... So the reason why I'm taking my sweet ass time is I'm pretty sure it's like you want to get in though again before this closes. Because there is some pickups here. I remember that. Gorked my health. What's the point? What's the point of all this? If I don't have any pickups. Did Shiva drop a pickup, you think? Because there's going to be two Shivas and two keyholes in this. You know, like, why am I here? I got one key. Where's the other babes? I didn't realize it turned to mud. Shiva alive? Why the hell am I so scared of hearing that? It's a mudslide. I, I can't even see the platform. Isn't there not platforms like a minute ago? So I love this for us starting mudslides all over the joint. I like that though, we're right side again. Whew. Very dangerous to have low health in this level. That different texture. I messed up. Ooh. Are these pushable blocks? I made this choice. Got all the secrets, doesn't matter. It's done, it's done. Did you hear that? Sounds like a boulder. Did I go the right way? Am I just conveniently winning at this without even thinking about it? Oh. Oh no. No, you don't want to come in here anyway. I guess we did the right thing. Look at them do monkey rolls. Nah guys, that doesn't help as I've still only got one bloody save, or I've only got one key. I need two to proceed. So. I mean, it's pretty. I like the skylight.
I'm happy to be back out here, but I hate to break it to you. I've only got one key. Did, she, did Shiva drop one? Hang on. Oh my god, where did I miss the key? Was there one down here? I would have pulled the lever. A boulder cam. The keys are big though, I don't think I would have missed it. But this door is still open, so it seems like that's to me a signal that we didn't complete the mission. So I missed something. Did the mudslide help me? <laughs> this is still filled full of. Oh my god. I'm actually lost. No, I refuse to believe this. I've I've been into I've been in that section so many bloody times. There's no way there's anything in the water. No way. So we missed something out here. It must have been a switch on a wall or a lever. <laughs> so you can definitely see my inexperience with Tomb Raider 3 now. Because I've played this before. I'm not using a walkthrough. I refuse to use a walkthrough. Like I've bloody got all secrets on this stupid level and I can't figure out. You need water. <laughs> You aren't pushable. I must go back up here. Oh my god, I may just check it out again. If the answer is really obvious, and you guys in the comments are all screaming, like, what are you doing? It's like, that's right there. I'm gonna feel like an absolute ninny. I'm trying to think about this logically. There has to be a reason for all of this. There just has to be. This wasn't built just for a secret. And I did, I used photo mode. I know there's a key, so it obviously involves the water. So there has to be a lever somewhere. This clear. I don't want to even talk about it. How did I miss that the first time? Oh, Tomb Raider 3. Oh, you glorious fiend. And of course, you got hit by this on my way. Oh, God, I was on a roll. I was tomb raiding and now I just... I'm speechless. I am shook it. I was like, there has to be a reason, like, there was something in there. Right. Thank you. I wish I could say this level's over, but I think it's really only just begun. We have so much more to do after this. <laughs> I think the only thing I can relax is I've got all the secrets. Four out of four. Two keys of Ganesha. Ganesha? Someone can spell check that for me in the comments. Appreciate it. Oh boy, I don't think this, I'm going to be able to fit this Let's Play into one video. We're only on level two and <laughs> we're in it. We're in it deep. So please save here, whatever you do. This is like an infamous area, I'd say, of Tomb 3. music into my veins. She gonna make it? She gonna make it? Mm. She did. Oh, look at this, another two doors. Exactly what we want from more doors. Mm. 
so we've done I can still hear that well you're really out of place what's behind you you're out of place in the, the new graph and the old graphics too or obviously a plot related block Anything else in the room? No. They've textured it differently. Like they've made some creative liberties, which I'm not mad at. I don't want to make it sound like I'm I think they've obviously done it to make it look more, less wallpapery. But it does kind of allude to what I was saying earlier about just how much more the team behind the games they're big fans of Tomb Raider 3 compared to something like the tech like you know they've really gone all out on this one and again it's like I didn't want I wouldn't want them to sacrifice going all out because they, they made great decisions for what they did change but maybe they just needed more development time I, I, I don't see this thing fixed in patch updates Two meters three. This is two meter three for you. Paul. <laughs> Don't drop down whatever you do. Watch me sprint. Any more? Oh no. <laughs> Grand, I know I cheated. I was just checking if there was any difference which way I went. <sighs> Great, now look at them. Two of them are going to come alive at once. Perfect. Oh no, this one's coming alive first. How the hell am I supposed to get... God, how many of them is there? Well, I never said anything about this being pistols only, did I now? So. <laughs> that's one way to do that. <sighs> yeah, that's just the blood pressure. That's just the blood pressure, you see. I guess all three of these are going to come alive. Why did I do that? So I feel like you have to kill all of these for the door to open. You know. What's your story? What's your story? I keep seeing like the graphics change. If I just hang off here, what happens? Damn, that was a close one. Oh, what's that gold thing she dropped? <gasps> Her sword. I will take Shiva's sword. Thank you very much. Is that going to activate the one up there? Oh, look, I can take this one too. I didn't realize I dropped swords. That's beautiful. Even in the old graphics, it'll be like that.
I'm about to do a Merlin. Oh, there's a pool here. Oh, just for a medicate. I thought that was gonna. You can tell I was thought I was gonna go somewhere more exciting. So how do I set you off then, babes? Oh my gosh. What's gonna take for you to come alive? Oh, she's the keyhole. <laughs> that is cool. That's a very cool puzzle. If you're making a level editor, that's a great idea. Or a custom level, I mean. So we put Sea of Shiva's swords into the keyhole. Her golden swords. <laughs> you can tell I'm really checking everything now. I should save. We're doing pretty well. Righty, righty, right. Okay, let's climb up. And we're coming towards the end level, I remember this. Yeah, I missed the blue, you know, like I remember this having a really interesting atmosphere and like you can tell they're, they're texturing through lighting, like they're using colour. And I think this is so interesting. He's like possessed. I think this is one of the people, Tony, Randy or Rory. And like they are dead. They had their hearts ripped out from the inside. I, think, I don't know if it's potentially by Shiva. They've dropped a key and some flare. Oh, and there's two of them. You know, I only, you know, I always thought there was just one, but I didn't realize R Rory was here too. Oh, Rory, what happened to him? Oh, oh, slice in half. I'll take the flares off you though. Of course. Do you think Shiva's done that to him? Ah, oh, one bullet wasted. Now that I've died, will that door open? Ah, wish it was that easy. But I will take the key. So I see a second one down there. No, I thought that'd be too simple for that to open. I like the moss though, they've hung, you know, it's like a great contrast with the dead bodies. It's Doom Raider, it's always dead bodies. We need three. Oh no. Well, guess there's a lot more of this level than I. I didn't save. Even with the first game, I know the second one was more action focused, but I feel like even with the first one they are more creative about objectives, but here you're just chasing key after key after key after key, you know? And I don't I mean, if I'm going to be pulled. Oh, 
Like, I don't know what this does. I mean, I know obviously it's something to do with water, but like, I don't know what's to do with water. Uh, maybe one lever is for, oh, my computer's not a screensaver again. That's how long I've been playing this for. One of them is for that trap door, I'd say. So I got two now. Will there be another spicy Shiva waiting for us? Those hatches and open. I don't know what's in here. I'm saving yet again. Didn't look so good for Randy. Didn't look so good for Rory. Just That's like some pro gamer move. Do you see what I did there with the with the crouching and the <laughs> and the everything else? Okay. But we are making our way to the end of the level, thankfully. So I can put these keys in and get the heck out of here. Three more keys of Ganesha. Are you kidding me? That's what the level is. It's just keys and trolling. And I mean, the Shivas are fun. Like they're fun, but they're not even qualifying as a boss battle. There was no help meter. It was like just some like six shotgun rounds and that was it. But yeah, this level's very, very trolly. The River Ganges, the next level coming right up. Not as trolly. I guess Caves of Kiela isn't really either. But yeah, let's save. And uh, at least as a reward, because <laughs> we have all secrets. We can enjoy the cutscene as we now finish Temple Runes. Oh, look at the glasses. That's so cool. <laughs> this is a fun cutscene. Oh, does she have some swelling on her chin? Or some inflammation? Look at Tony, he's going crazy. He has telekinesis. So I think Tony must have killed Randy and Rory, if not the Vashivas. And there's the quad bike. Thankfully, we got some quad bike practice at Croft Manor. And off she runs to it. So that has been Temple Runes. And there's two pickups, typical. Uh, but I did get all secrets and it definitely took me a bit longer than an hour ten now. If we're, if we're really keeping tally. I can't lie, this wasn't fun, this was trolly, this was awful. That stupid lever hidden behind the blocks. I can't even fake the enthusiasm. Oh, it's 2 meter 3 though. 2 meter 3 is just going to be 2 meter 3. <laughs> so, you know. Run the gauntlet. Talk about beta 2 meter 3. This thing is running the gauntlet. Let's move on to the River Ganges. And here we go. So I kept the sunglasses on her, even in the rain. It seems like a super cool thing to do. And here's our fun quad bike. So how many secrets are in this level? Five. Five's the number to beat. We're on a roll. We... Oh, I thought this was level four. <laughs> I only realized we'd... <laughs> we had done two levels, jungle and temple runes. I was like, oh, this game's a gauntlet. I don't remember any specific weapons in this level. Um, there is one secret, I remember the obvious one. Don't hop on the quad bike just yet. Yeah, you can tell we had fun with River Ganges. That's beautiful. I think they kept, you know, it is raining. I think what they did right by the horizon. But like, look at the, look at the, um, the grass and everything oh they've and you can really tell they went out all out on uh india which is fine like everybody has their personal favorite two mirrors but like yeah this is amazing it's 
So this is the path to your first secret. Um, for the love of God, do not fall into the water. Because we're in level three now. And judging by how level two treated me, you can tell it's not going to get any easier from here. So <laughs> don't fall into the river. And thankfully with the patch update, you can tell what way the water is flowing. Even though actually in the old graphics, it didn't show any current. They've done, you know, the upgrade, the remaster is very definitive in that way because you can see what way the water is going. So it's telling you that there's a current. Which in Tomb Raider is never a very good thing. Look at the piranhas. See, they're already on lookout. They're like, we hear there's a British archaeologist running amok. We've been so hungry. Num num. <laughs> that other guy went down in, la in, in a raft. How dare he? Look at them! Look at the piranhas go! Like they're AI. Like, let's just like. I don't even think you can escape this, but let's just see where are we going. Where are we going? Oh, we're free. Can we escape? I've never done this before. Like. Tell me, like, what's, what's going on here? Oh, we're right over a cliff. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Alara. Ugh, piranhas. This game definitely gave me an irrational fear of them. Like, piranhas growing up aren't, at least in my day, you know, we're done the radar all that much. I mean, snakes and things they teach you in school, but they're never like, get piranhas on the curriculum. But two meter sure put piranhas on the curriculum for me. Ugh. Okay, I need to see a running jump then. When in doubt, everything needs a running jump. Oh, how awful! still truly exists. Right, so this is like a set of jumps, isn't it? Are these lethal jumps? Yep, they sure are. Welcome to Tomb Raider 3. Do you remember how like in Tomb Raider 1 the secrets were like really cute? It was like an invisible floor in the monastery or whatever but actually it was harmless or you know you're just collecting these cute dragons? Or in Tomb Raider 1 when you were doing a series of jumps in the cistern, you know, it wasn't life or death. Not the case in Tomb 3. Tomb 3 will kill you. So, you know, <laughs> take care. Whew. Okay, you got every pickup. Ay, 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 ay. If you're a fan of Dark Souls and you had never played Tomb 3, you would absolutely love it. Although I think I described Tomb 2 as my Dark Souls and by what that I just mean it's a game I'm just obsessed with and I think it's the best thing on earth. Which is how I know a lot of people feel about Dark Souls. Or Elden Ring. Well they're different properties but you get the sentiment. Jumping and grabbing. It's the MVP for Lara. They even published it on the um the TikTok. How like you do a jump and grab but you don't actually hold grab, you just use it because the momentum of her grab will push you below things if you need to for like some secrets like I did for that secret in the jungle. Which I think is really interesting. Like I think what's underrated about this game from the nineties, because it is from the nineties, is that her movement not that has physics, because obviously this doesn't have physics puzzles or anything, because there's no physics engine. But her moveset has that type of momentum. You know, I think when you play a lot of other games from the 90s and a character jumps, it's just like an animation, whereas you do feel there's a weight to her jumps in the, uh, in the older games, which I think is you know, super cool. I wonder if they did anything. Right, 
I recommend you save any time before you hop onto a quad bike because this thing is a death trap. So we got the first secret of the level out of five. I don't even know if you can get all. Um, yeah, you must be if it's if it, if it counts as five. You must be able to get all five. <laughs> Ooh, now she's cooking. <laughs> the web. <laughs> oh. I think there's a secret here. I remember this one. Well, it's real obvious. Big old ladder. Look at the foliage going crazy. Well, that stopped the music in its tracks. I preferred the, uh, the lighting down here in the old one, that kind of purpley blue thing that I had going on. But yeah, this is your second secret out of five. Not too bad. There's one secret I can tell you now, because it's not an easy one to... Um, cause I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and... I have to do it if I want to get all the hollows. But there is a secret in Antarctica in... It's either Oryx text mines, but even mentioning it, if you're a fan of Tomb Raider 3, you know what secret I'm talking about, or if you're a hardcore fan of it. But it's like the one where you literally have to run across the entire map to get it in like under a few seconds, or like in a minute or something. Um, I mean, obviously if I want to get to all hollows, I'll have to get that. But like, it's a not an obvious secret that you have to run across the entire map. So I'm just, you know, I'm aware of it, and that's why I know of it. So, back on the quad, with our second secret. Ooh. Now this jump always confused me because there's not really a booster button on the quad bike so I'm gonna just do another save. Yeah I don't I don't get that one. Oh if you hold sprint. Gotcha. So you hold sprint and I'll do it. So now that I've parked that over there. <laughs> look at the, look at the foliage. How much foliage do you want? And they said yes. Of course, Lar would wear her sunnies inside. Actually, is this level non linear? I wonder, ah surely you can take the quad bike, you can go on foot or you can take the quad bike, I'm sure you can still get all the secrets though with the quad bike, yeah you'd have to, I mean that'd be, I'll just replay the level if you can't get all the secrets with the quad bike, but I feel like we should be able to, hang on let's run them, let's run them, let's run these over, look at them, look at them doing their front roll. That was a bit psycho of me. Stop, Lara. Save. I think this is like the path, right? You can go one of two ways. Okay, I want to go on the quad bike, which I don't think you can go to. I don't think you can go on the quad bike this way. Maybe you can. Who even knows where I am at this point? 
Because it looks like I can, I can probably do a backflip and get up there. Am I going the right way? I'm gonna do a detour for a second because I could. I, this level's a blur. What happens if I go this way? Now I remember this being like a huge leap. Why is it randomizing the music? This could also be the way though. this way. I see some desert eagle clips so we'll take them. You know this way looks a lot more quad bike friendly. I wonder if this is actually the quad bike way and the other way was going on foot and also we just found another secret. I must have went the wrong way. Oh, I must have gone the wrong way. This could actually be the right way, because this is a secret. Because remember the way it's like non-linear, so probably you'd probably get punished if you take the wrong path. I've never done an all secrets run of Tomb Raider 3 before, so actually I don't know the answer and I didn't Google. I do only one that I remember that's infamous is like in the South Pacific, you can get 60 secrets out of 59, but I actually don't know what the deal is in India. Do you come back here at a later? I don't know. I don't think that's the case at all. Okay, I'm gonna do a separate save. And we'll... Whatever happens, happens. Let the best save win. Or maybe I'll do a funky walkthrough for you. I will, we'll, we'll do both. Let me see, this looks like trouble. See, to me, this looks more quad bikey than the other way. Don't do that, Laura. Okay, this just brings you here. Grand. Okay, let's go up the slope. I want to get off though. Oh, these non-linear levels really boil my piss. Oh, which way am I going now? Like, well, I ain't reaching that. You can really see I'm starting to get stressed out now, so we'll continue on this quad bike path. I think we were going the right way. I don't know, that tree stuff was just a distraction. to those tree stumps that there's nothing god I put a lot of effort into those tree stumps to have no actual purpose they really went over time on the foliage I love it 
They're like, if we can animate the foliage, we're going to animate it. I wonder if they'll add that in the two engine editor. Give me a lot of Desert Eagle ammo. Do you get a Desert Eagle in it? I'm if I'm missing weapons. Cause I, I, I wouldn't know a thing. line this one up. They can get some amazing screenshots. Yes, that was my life flashing before my eyes. Is it safe for me to get down? Wait, why is my walk button not working? No, oh, bird. Two of them? Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm in it now. Those are beautiful birds. Try this again. <laughs> the quad bike wouldn't. So what's up here? Because the quad bike can't get up here. Because it's going down in a slope. So what's here? In here, because we had to go on foot. Oh, this must be the right way to go about it. Thank God I had a, a save game and we took the quad bike path because we're already at four secrets. I don't think because, like, you wouldn't be able to get here if you went the other way. Do you know that? So, I think there is only I say only one of the two paths gets you all secrets, and it's this one. I do have this, I'd be, just for my own curiosity, I think I probably will load in, just have to have a look. Can I hop up here? Gotcha. Right, so let's get this one. Because look, we're already at four secrets, are we? I've never done an all, again, I, I, this is genuinely on, I've never done an all secrets run of tomb three. So, you probably shouldn't be taking my advice, <laughs> but I guess go this way. Go left. Nick, when you can go left and go right, go left. After you open that door for the quad pike. We think it's like a, I don't want to hurt her. Okay, sweet. Now this is another big fall. Let's be careful. Ouch. Oh, these aren't even triggered. It's like they're waiting for me to come from another path. I, I wonder if the paths converge here. Yeah, you can never get a quad bike over that. That's another way in.
Remember I died by the piranhas here? I think we're at the end of the level. Isn't this like not the... This is the end of the level. I remember this from playing it a few years ago. Ah, okay. We're at the end of the level, are we? Yeah, because there's the raft. Okay, so this is the end of the level. Much quicker on the quad bike anyway. That was totally painless. There's a bird. Yeah, look at trying to knock me off. I could hear it. I was like, where is it? Now, because the waterfall is over, I think you can just jump into the water. But I see a shimmy there, so I'm just going to be careful before I jump down. Yeah, look, there's that ledge. That's a ledge, so the grass concealed. It is handy in a way that you can switch between the graphics. Because this is very obscured. Yeah, because you know what? You could totally, um, like, shimmy and drop. Oh, yeah, I think I did this wrong. Hang on. Or I'm just getting really creative on my platforming. See, that's why you need the, the graphics. Or no, I want to be on the other one. <laughs> no fancy HD graphics. We need pixel precision. Although, yes, I did just see that. Of course, I could just drop down here. Such an idiot. They even have pickups. I just didn't see them because it was so much foliage. This is more human and it would make more sense. So if you've been screaming at your computer screen like, what the hell are you doing? Although I nearly got it right though that time. I, got, I was able to shimmy. Although I still don't think... They would have made their way. Yeah, look. Five out of five secrets. Oh, that's all the secrets. There's no more in Caves of Kiela. Okay, I'm not angry about that. So we've had to ditch our quad bike. And then we just kind of fall down here. Interesting. Lara. Um, oh, that's just a dead bird. <laughs> the top of the pickup. So, we fall here. And uh, I think we just go into the temple, right? That's brilliant. So, we'll save. But I didn't get a lot of pickups. Do you think there's other, do you think there is like five out of five secrets, but there's other secrets if you go the other way? Like, how would someone do an all pickups, all kill, all secrets? Run? I'm not doing all pickups, that ship has sailed. But how would you do that in this level? Okay, what we're gonna do before we play Caves of Kiala, or Cavella, or whatever it's called, let's go back to original River Ganges. And this was. Yeah, we climbed out of here. 
And then I got sunken mud. I don't even know if I'm bothering to check what's what's on this side. So they just have save crystals too. And we're all gonna end up at the river eventually. I mean I understand from a gameplay perspective, you know, what's being asked of me. You know what? This is a completely different level when you play it on foot. Oh, I was here before. Those are the two that are waiting for me. Oh, there probably is a way to do all pickups if we've been here before. Okay, my mind is... Never mind. Never mind, folks. I'm too, it's too late for me to even think about that. We've, we've gone this way. This is the lazy walkthrough, but you still get all secrets anyway. So, this has been the River Ganges once more. So, 22 minutes, 5 out of 5 secrets, 6 crystals found, which probably isn't all of them, and uh, 32 pick. I don't, all secrets gets me access to all hollows, which means we can play every level of the game all I care about. Right, let's move to Caves of Kialadan. So the glasses are off because they're inside. Okay, so there's only 10 pickups in this level and no secrets. Good to know. Um, I'm not really concerned about weapons for those who've never played Tomb Raider 3 before. Let's just say, don't worry about it for uh, for, for this game. And if you obviously, if you're new to, if, you, if you've played Tomb Raider 3 before, and I think if you're watching this video, you've probably played Tomb Raider 3 few times then you know don't worry about the weapons no I hate mazes this is this is why I hate Tomb Raider 3 they got lazy in this level we're just maze city well there's a boulder there that's gonna chase us so we're gonna slide down there and take a left And now a boulder is going to come this direction. I knew there was a boulder coming because there was a, there's somewhere for you to hide, but still frightened me. I was like, oh! I was like, Ooh. Okay. Are we done yet? Oh, we're in another part of the maze. I absolutely hate this level. And the boss battle's grand. Like, the boss is fine. It's the maze aspect of it. The lighting in the original version is much better. Like, if we're gonna have to do this stupid thing, you know, let there be Atmos. No, oh, got some shotgun shells. I'll take them. Probably will use my shotgun on Tony the Goon. Got the shotgun shells. Crawled out from under here. How did this get water damage, I ask you? See, this is kind of that lazy level design where like, I feel bad for the people doing the remaster because there's just no way to make this pretty. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, what can they do with the geometry in the remaster to make it look beautiful? Which is probably why there was such an emphasis on lighting in this one. Am I missing any pickups? No. When I say I don't even know where I am.
cat. That's the one I just pushed in. Got it. Okay, okay. Freedom? Oh my god, are we getting towards freedom? Like this is a dead end. Oh, no. Aha, we found an escape. So I ain't moving here, but I am going to be lazy and do the camera mode version because I wonder if there's any pickups in this level. Oh, I'm a Tomb Raider. I went the right way the first time. Nothing but dead ends the other way. God, I dropped in there very cocky, didn't I? Should save. <laughs> Tony? Tony Baker? Could you imagine if I ended up in another maze so I'd shoot myself? I'd be like, Lara, your time, your adventure has come to an end. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. We're in another cave. We're in another maze. And now to make it harder, there's grass to confuse you. There's fo we're being confused by foliage. What's this way? Ooh. Oh. Well, you know, it's actually a St. Patrick's Day here in Ireland, so it does feel fitting that I'm getting the snakes. I mean, it won't be St. Patrick's Day when this video goes on the internet. It's St. Patrick's Day as of me recording this video. I feel like there's something fitting about that. Right, what the hell am I playing at now? I like this take on the classic Tomb Raider ambiance music. Do you know the one that we hear all the time in the first two games? What the hell is supposed to be up here? How the hell am I supposed to get that? You know, I had the easy exit in front of me earlier. Why didn't I just take it? Why didn't I just go? Oh no, I've lost. No, I'm not going this way. Yeah, it was this way. So this is the boss, like cool, you know, happy to be here. Do you know what I mean with the weekend going around in circles? Kind of how I'm feeling right now. So why the hell is this that I missed Uzi's? Am I sleepwalking through this? Like this is the most pathetic level design. Wherever this is, I'm glad. That was the beginning with the boulder. Fuck it. Screw it. Screw it. Screw it. Screw it. Nope. No secrets. No non-applicable to me. Ooh. Oh, I believe you don't even have to kill these. You just have to run. Yeah. I it's just, you know, a little bit of spice. Ah, I'm not going for all kills. That ship sailed. So 
so this is such a bad level like it's utterly garbage is what it is now I'm gonna save crystals a hint so I'm going to run down here and I'm going to get my shotgun and all 18 ammo bullets Hello, Tony. Oh, I got shot too prematurely. You have to wait for him to do this, don't you? I don't know what you would do in modern controls. Ooh, what gun is that? Ah. Oh, you know what? I do remember an achievement on Xbox saying to just kill Tony only with the grenade launcher. So I can totally see that being a thing. I don't even know how you'd have enough time to pick that up. My first time is my best time, clearly. I know those groans only too well. I need to come up with a strategy eventually. Ah, I tricked him. Didn't see that coming. I'm trying to add stamina at him. Just like sex, actually. Too late. Oh no, we got it. Aha, grenade launcher. Let's go. Okay, let's see if we can finish Tony off with just a grenade launcher and get that achievement. Now I need to position my way and to like do a tap backwards. How did I not get him? Oh, I see what we have to do. <laughs> okay, so to kill Tony with the grenade launcher, we're gonna have to like literally jump through them. This is just going to be a really awkward achievement to get because of what you know it needs. That's like the way to do it. I think we got the, the meta to the madness. We got Tony using Grenade Launcher on New Game, but uh, I got the achievement, so we did what needed to be done, but uh, the game over, because I landed in the water by accident. Nice. That effect's crazy. It looks like it's having graphic issues. That looks, is that actually what the artifact is or is that a glitch? It's kind of ugly. So let's, uh, there's no save limit, so why not? Let's pick up the artifact and end the India section. Oh, the water makes more sense on the old graphics. Up to mirror three. So this is Dr. Willard. Represented by that retarded researcher you've just been with, uh, Lara. This is I'm also a product of the time. Myself, I do not agree with the characterization and the dialogue like used. Indeed, I'm inspired. I'd like to offer you other work. What? Shoot the breeze with some of your other boys? No thanks. Fortunately, they were the only lab rats we let loose into the field. No. My request is for three other artifacts like this. The Infada tribe only had one artifact of this type. It's unique. Anyway, what would your interest in it be? I'll show you. It's not from India, rather an island near Antarctica. It is in fact meteorite rock that has been fashioned and used by Polynesians who were once settled there many, many years ago. 
See that? That's unique. An unknown material. So how did it end up here? Formed from the planets. Sculpted by Polynesians. Distributed by goons. Our excavations and investigations have led us to this. A sailor's diary from Charles Darwin's expedition on the HMS Beagle. August 14th, 1834. This voyage is getting too boring for me to go on with this journal. Me adventures at sea are an embarrassment. The only tales the I've days. left to tell are hours of bird watching, picking and pressing flowers, following them blasphemous ideas of the governor, Darwin. But this don't even concern me now. I just want food. Something more than vegetable broth in me. Today we five have made a pact. The only sampling we're going to be doing is for meat. Pure, solid, blood-rich meat. Well, I just think they're going to find it in the Arctic. Well, I guess they find footprints, though. So. I guess they were, they were onto something. The snow's run out. The tracks have gone. Just keep going. We're on its trail. This is cool. Paul is well dead. Nobody better say nothing about this to the governor. Else we'll be back having to hunt down that creature for his samples. Paul fell down a crevasse, okay? Okay, Stephen. Amen. And Darwin never knew what those five lads got Stephen up to. Stephen was to be the only survivor of the four. When he arrived back in London, he superstitiously sold off his artifact, having seen his pals murdered or killed with theirs. One here in India, one in the South Pacific, and one in Nevada. The place is where I'd like you to go. Sounds good to we me. We know who he sold his artifact to, but when he got back to London, there's some lore there. So this is the Caves of Cayella, and uh, yes, rare achievement. The completion rate on these games are brutal. Um, right, so this is really fun, because in Tomb Raider 3, there's a globe. Now, come on, I think they could have texture that a bit better for the HD. It looks more HD in the old graphics. Um, they could have used a more higher res texture. Come on folks, put your back into it. But if you're new to Tomb Raider, we're just going to casually go to Nevada. And if you're a big fan of Tomb Raider 3, you know why we're going to Nevada first. So without further ado, let's jump into the Nevada desert. Oh, I love the loading screen. Got some cleavage, just looking good. This is probably the most iconic outfit of Tomb Raider 3. I did put her sunglasses on. Um, other people would probably say the cat suit, but I actually think that this camo outfit looks a bit better. It's probably why they used it in the marketing material. I think it's just because the desert's really orangey and pink, and so the blue's a nice contrast. Even in the older graphics, it was always a really, really cool outfit. And in the older graphics, she had her belly button pierced too. So thankfully I waited until the patch update came out because as you can see the ground is really detailed. Before the patch update apparently this looked a lot more barren and they fixed that like there's rocks on the ground now and obviously the, um, the mud, the quicksand has been fixed too. 
So let's just take care of these eagles. But yeah, it does look gorgeous. Um, I think, it, I think, I think the saturation could have been a bit better. Like I like the saturation of the old visuals. This seems a bit muted. It has like almost that PS2 era of toned down things where I think maybe I would have preferred a bit more color like this, a bit more rich, but I think if they're going for, you know, maybe a higher fidelity graphic, it didn't look as good. But yeah, so I'm spending the St. Patrick's bank holiday at the time of recording, shooting snakes. It is only fitting. <laughs> and let's hop down and collect our first pickup of the level, which is some rocket launcher ammo, I believe. So you definitely do not want to step into the quicksand. That would not be good for you. But look at the water. Oh, there's a name for that. Call aesthetics. Oh, that looks really cool. So um, let's proceed into the ruins of the Nevada desert. And I believe our first secret is here up ahead. Now, is there a safer way to get into there? I don't think you can push that yet. I think there's a reason why you can't. It's a pushable block for sure. And um, let me just go this way. This is, I believe this is how you access it. But, um, okay, that's interesting. I think you have to slide down here. Now, this would have you believe that you can let drop down into new graphics, but as you can see in the old graphics, you can. So let's do that. And as you can see, riddled with snakes. Don't know if these ones are poisonous, but let's not test it. I assume they're poisonous if all the other snakes in India are poisonous. I don't think they would have customized it. But yeah, I think the outfit looks really cool. And I think even with the sunglasses, it's a good look. I don't think there's ever been any renders from Core Design that had her wearing this outfit with the sunglasses. It's our really our first time doing it with the remaster, but it's not a bad look. So yeah, I don't think we wouldn't have been able to push that in. So let's get some shotgun shells. Climb up here. Let's climb up and get, grab that. Then let's hop up here. So the story of Nevada involves the infamous Area 51 because why else would we be here? And as you can see, these canyons look really amazing. I think the horizon they did a nice job and they've even built out some more of the environment. So there are supposed to be spy planes. Um, what's it say there? Fighting flighting force. I think that's a reference to another core design game. But do you see the way they're kind of a bit transparent? I think it's because it's like the US military has been working on spy crafts that don't get detected by satellite. Because obviously, you know, it's Nevada, it's Area 51. So it's obviously very um the game designers are obviously very inspired by things like X-Files and just, you know, Was Roswell and that type of mythology. So I can see the snake here. Just Just be careful jumping around here. Yeah, that's beautiful. That horizon's gorgeous. And you can see the sandy dunes and desert in the background. Um, maybe this is the way. Yeah. And then what we want to do is climb here. Is there any pickup? So I don't know there is a large many pack. Let's grab it. I believe this level has four secrets. Three. Oh, we got one of them. 
Ha, we're off to a rockin' start. So let's jump over here and grab this platform. Oh, oh. They really blend in with the environment. And we're gonna jump into this water tank. Oh, I was so close, but I fudged it. <laughs> and let's swim in here. I believe this is like a water tank that the military is using. They're in a desert. They must be, you know, getting their fresh water from a well. But yeah, this looks wonderful. You can see they did some nice job with the geometry, just smoothing it out a bit on the sand. And this is our first open area of the Nevada desert. So thankfully, because we waited for the patch update, you can now see the water flowing in one direction from the river. Uh, the water visuals were definitely improved a lot from what I understand from people who played before the patch update, which is really cool. So let's do our first save of the level. Let's jump here. Hop up and grab that. And, uh, oh, I see a bird. Stay low and get it. How many birds was there? Let's drop here. I believe that's a second secret ahead of us. I'm trying to remember, is there an order? I don't remember if there's an order or not. Let's go get the secret first. I think you have to fall into the water anyway, which means we might be doing this twice. But I do know that if we climb in here, there is a secret. But yeah. So this is the second of three secrets in the level. Nevada is not a hard level um, section. It's a controversial one because when we get to a certain level, we'll see what happens. But I actually don't think it's difficult. Um, I would be pretty confident that any player, even if he did a level skip, could probably take on Nevada. I think it is easier than India. Um, I think the South Pacific, not too hard. I think the kayak is a, is a nightmare to control. I think the boss battle could be a wee bit difficult, but I think, you know, London and Antarctica are the hard sections of this game, more so than India. I'd say London, Antarctica, India, South Pacific, and honestly, Nevada. Uh, maybe Nevada has a few tricky doors in Area 51, but that's really about it. So this is really cool. And uh, yeah, let's get some of these shotgun shells. You know, when I was doing Tomb Raider 2 Gold, I was like, you know, I'm gonna turn off that hand icon because it's super obvious and it's kind of annoying. But look at me now, we're still using it. It's amazing how her sunglasses have survived this. Um, we do need to climb up somewhere. Let's climb up here. Right, so now that we're back here, um, we can just proceed and go the other way. Okay. 
Come on, Lar, you're killing it. Imagine being so physically fish. You're, <laughs> you'd be able to take on this adventure. Oh, I. Oopsie, that was my mistake. <laughs> Let's not make that mistake again. Let's climb up here properly. So, yeah, it isn't really that hazardous of a level. As you can see, I haven't even saved. Oh, I saved once, but, you know, I'm not really saving a whole lot. I mean, you know, the area is full of water. Even though we're in a desert, we've found the rare oasis, which I think is funny. Snake. Of course there is. Okay, there was always a bush there. If you see a bush in a desert, they're probably hiding something behind it. I love that. You can see them using their spy crafts. I think, to me, this always adds so much really cool story to the lore of Tomb 3. I think they did a really wonderful job on it. They even smoothed that out. So, what are they getting at? This is interesting. This is like really the first time they're expecting you to do this kind of jump. They don't really ask this of you a whole lot in Tomb Raider to do that type of jump. But that's how you do it. And uh, as a reward, you can totally take that save crystal and uh, let's make our way here. So as you can see, we do have a fuse. We have TNT that we can use to blow up. I do also see a boulder. Let's be careful of that. We can have a look down here and examine what exactly we're going to blow up. So there's our TNT. And as you can see, we're going to blow this little cavern up. But before we blow it up though, you can grab this flare. It's just an extra pickup before we blow it all to smithereens. So I do see a boulder and I forget how that behaves. So when in doubt, it's never a bad idea to just do a cheeky save before we uh, go to town. Oh no, we need the key. Never mind. <laughs> Too early. I was thinking of the one from Tomb Raider 2. So instead, what we can do is explore this area. We can do that by doing a flip and a shimmy. Um, it is giving me multiple options. Okay, that's just, <laughs> you're given a multitude of ways to navigate this. Uh, I'm gonna go this way. I think you can hop onto that platform, but you can go this way because there's a medipack. So let's grab up and get it. That's a great horizon texture off the sand dunes. Uh, so anything down here worth my time? You can shimmy, but I mean, I believe I've always just done this. I mean, this is allowed. This ain't illegal. I mean, they're saying you can shimmy onto that and do a you know a backflip, but I think I've always. Just done that. Um, you want to be careful with these because they're triangles, so they're not a full tile of jumping. I think that's just a, um, a a block that's not connected to anything. I wouldn't go near it. So this is really cool. As you can see, we have a water wheel, um, and we have to activate this water wheel. Oh, this looks so good in high def. And because you can see the water's flowing from out there and you see the rays of light, this is beautiful. I think some, again, remember I was saying pretty much on all my Let's Plays, some areas just upscale in the remaster better than others and Nevada definitely looks awesome in the remaster. Um, but I believe, yeah, you see the secret is such a dead giveaway because you can see that now. This is new. I don't think I've ever done this one before. Watch it get behind me. <laughs> I am not getting bit, thank you. So I believe then we have gotten all secrets. Now, I think it is absolutely hilarious that they're rewarding us with the Uzis, which let's be honest, is probably the fan's most favorite weapon, maybe even more so than her trademark pistols. Um, because you know, it's Nevada. <laughs> so 
so I do think that's funny that they decide to give them to you. So if you're a fan and you've got all three secrets of this level, you're like, got the Uzis, we're about to have so much fun. In fact, let's have a quick look at what weapons we do have. We got pistols, we got shotgun, we do have our famous Uzis, and we even have a grenade launcher. Well, let's take the Uzis out and have some fun with them. I think Lara and Uzis is always such a good time. She's really posing for her um, her Instagram. She's like, hey, with the water wheel behind her. Tourist landmark. Am I right or am I right? Uh, now that we got that, let's explore the rest of the area. Sorry for the detour. kind of feel bad for you. Oh, they're a biker gang. Why is there a biker gang hanging out here in Nevada, near Area 51? Are they like conspiracy theorists? Oh, they are conspiracy theorists because isn't there that famous... I don't want to spoil it. I'll follow up with you about what I mean, but I think... <laughs> Guys, some of this is only clicking with me for the first time. Um, and thankfully the HD graphics are helping. Let's uh, proceed in here. I think we have to do this first, don't we? Or no, I do have to do the other thing first. But... I can take the save crystal. Yeah, the lighting's actually better in the remaster. They did a really nice job. And the light rays are beautiful. So, let's come over here and climb this ladder. All my screenshots are uploading. Very, my apologies. I don't think I ever took any in India either. So we've climbed to the top of the water wheel and as you can see, pretty dry. Not a whole lot of action going on in this water wheel. And if there's anything about a Tomb Raider game, if there's, a, if there's something that can be made wet, Lara will do it. So, oh, this looks gorgeous too. My gosh, they really, they really went all out with the Nevada section. Like, look at that. That's beautiful. Sorry, I have to take another screenshot. But that's stunning. And the music. I also think it helps because Tomb Raider 3 is the first game that has sound effects for the ground. Her footsteps always used to sound the same. But in number three, sorry I have indigestion yet again. All my past videos I'm like talking about my indigestion. But for number three they actually added different sounds depending on what surface. So if she walks on wood you'll hear like wood creaks. If she's walking on sand it sounds like sand. I think it is pretty fun. Bullets are those. Grenade launcher, I think. But yeah, they were like, let's add let's add grass everywhere we can. So you can see the way the water is flowing, that would bring it, you know, that way. So we have to obviously bring it the other way. And it's just like a bank. Like, I think the way they've upscaled it is absolutely brilliant. Again, it's just one of those environments that even in 2024, it's the right location for the game engine. Like it, it looks good is what I'm trying to say. So why don't we dive into the water and see what mayhem we can cause in here. So I do see a lever there. Well, let's just see if there's any pickups because I think this might change dramatically. So it's a trap door. I keep forgetting though that we do have all secrets, but look, if I can get as many pickups as possible, I will. Let's pull this one first, maybe. Oh, that's probably a trick. Probably, probably opposites. I don't know, the game is being fair. The game is rarely fair. Oh, like you can definitely tell different level designers worked on different sections of the game. I mean, I would be shocked if the same level builder who did this did like 
Caves of Kiela. Do you know what I mean? Like there's just a quality difference. I think some of these levels can be really good, but some of the levels of Tomb Raider 3 are just so, so weak that it can kind of drag down. But at this, the Nevada section, I think is actually a really good section. Let's go through this trap door. Oh. Let's pull that. Come on, Lara. Imagine, like, how would those regular men change the direction of the water flow up? They need to do it in their daily task. Like, I mean, we know why Lara Croft's up to the challenge, but how are they able to do it? Oh, I think we might drown here if we don't do this in time. Well, I've made some mistakes. Look at me, I'm going to be gasping for air. Oh no. Will we make it? Oh, we made it just in the nick of time. Beautiful. Okay, that's interesting. I don't even know what this is. Ah, but we have access to the control panel. And that has raised that, which is excellent. So now if we come out here, uh, the water still looks quite stabilised. Let's do a swan dive. Oh, how, what a pretty visual of the mountains and everything. Again, this level just looks really, really pretty. And I know it sounds like I'm giving it a lot of compliments, but I feel like you know, we should give a compliments where it's deserved because there's a lot of times I'm going to be talking smack about this level. So we may as well be polite and kind about it while we still can. What's down here? I've never... Have I ever gone down this way before? Oh, well, I'll take this. Thank you very much. I wonder if the water wheel animates. I don't think it animated in the original. I feel like that would be too much for, of an ask for the original PlayStation. But um, I wonder if it is in this one. Were they able to get it moving? Or maybe it did animate. Again, I don't remember. Do you know how long it's been since I've played? Now, something I do see is a little area. I want to get those rockets. Aha. Uh -huh. I thought I wouldn't find these. Well, I did. I'm probably missing another obvious pickup, though. Do you think it's sacrilegious if I fall into the water? Oh, it probably is. It'll probably drag me all the way down. Don't do that. Now, let me go back. Got to go back. The half tile jump is so good for situations like these where it's like you need between a two and a three tile jump because when you fall downwards she'll travel further because again her moveset has momentum built in. Is that a crack in the ceiling? <laughs> of course it is. Sorry, I think that's so funny to me. Um like it looks good, like I'm not I'm not just saying it, but I think you could probably do a super cut of me playing all three games of everything I've done so far and being like, oh, Skylight. Oh, so the water wheel did move in the old one, but it's sure as heck moving now, that's beautiful. So and that has extra strong flow. The energy, the wheel is providing power to the elevator. Yeah, I wouldn't go near there. I wouldn't do that. No. Let's proceed this way. I feel like that might have spawned a baddie. Who was in the elevator. I was like, whoa, what did you do? I was... Oh. So like, sorry, I wanted to just have a look. Are these cultists? Or like biker gang? Or like anarchy? That was a very awkward, why did I do that? Wait, <laughs> that looks good. <gasps> he punched us. Rude. Yeah, I think those aren't anything to do with the military police. I believe they are a third party. Yeah, 
let's grab this then. So this is the detonation key that we actually need though. And I think maybe those men are just like biker gangs or conspiracy theorists trying to Naruto run their way into Area 51. <laughs> and um, again, we're just like that third party. It's kind of like how in Tomb Raider 2, it was the Fia Minera and the monks. They were kind of in a battle with each other. And Lara Croft kind of just kind of came in as this third entity with her own agenda, which I think is always kind of the fun bit of Tomb Raider is that she's always just getting up in other people's grill. Fabulous. All right. Ooh. Why would it do that to me? This level isn't hazardous. It's just more of time wastage. But thankfully, they give you a, like see way how this level is kind of helpful too with the camera angles. Definitely someone else worked on this compared to the India levels. The, the quality difference is just night and day. I mean, I like the River Ganges. I think jungle can be a lot of fun. But when you just see the attention, this is like Tomb Raider 2 quality, which I think is a compliment. I think Tomb Raider 3 jungle was also a good level, but I think Temple Ruins was an absolute troll of a level. I love the quad bike of... Um, yeah, it's playing the music again quad bike of the river Ganges. I think Caves of Kiala was an uh, absolute flop. Here's TNT. But thankfully we're back on track with Nevada. So let's push that and that's going to activate the TNT. It's going to send a boulder right at us as punishment uh, for destroying God's natural earth. And uh, there's no pickup behind it. Surprise, surprise. So let's slide on down and explore this new area. So you can no longer access the flares. So if you didn't get them beforehand, you won't be able to get them now because that's been kind of blown in. And you can't grab corners, so you're gonna have to grab this one. There were limitations with the game engine, but obviously you are able to jump onto it though. And because you don't have a full tile to work with, I do recommend the walk and jump, the half tile jump, which I believe Tomb Raider advertised on her TikTok. So I think more people should be aware of it. And as you can see, we got access to like the secret base of Nevada and Area 51. So that's beautiful. Gorgeous. Looks like there's a penis mountain. <laughs> Maybe they are military police. Or is this a jail? Like, who are those men? If they're not the Nevada police. Or the United States government. <laughs> I have no idea. Someone explain this to me. We need Suzanne the Raider to give me a lore breakdown. I should watch her video. I'm sure she explains it. They must be jailed. Men. Or maybe it's just like a regular conservative business, biker gang business, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but we can climb up here. I don't know why you'd want to climb up here. I believe that's electric fencing. So don't do that. I think it's trying to hint at you to do that, but I wouldn't touch it. And don't go anywhere near those walls. Don't touch those walls. Um, what's in here then? Lara's glasses. She's like, damn it, I can't take them off. Let's see what's up here first. of some kind. We should probably pull this one before we pull that one. Let's do it in order. Don't be silly. Hmm. 
Don't know where that is, but I'm glad they've shown me a screen so I can at least keep on the lookout for it. Let's pull this one then. I don't know what that did. Interesting. Where does this take me then? Oh, we're in a new area now. I want to get a good screenshot with my mates, with my twins. Hang on. I need like a, a normal pose from you, Lara. Just a normal pose. Rewind. How did I end up in this situation? Let's kill all these innocent men. Or are they innocent? I mean, they are attacking us, but... I don't know why they're attacking us, but as you can see, we're on the inside of the, the fence. And as you can see, you can see the electric the electricity. You can see the sparks kind of coming from it. Um, but what we can do though is climb this tower. So if we come over to this side, there is a ladder. I'm just looking for pickups before I proceed. And who's up here? No one. I might be here a tad too soon. Whoops, the daisy. Ah, uh, some classic two or three confusion has now set in. Radio. So, where do we think we're going then? Um, I'm gonna give it the benefit of the deck though. So why don't we just explore elsewhere for the moment? This does look like scenery from that Britney Spears music video. I'm not a girl, <laughs> not yet a woman. Right, let's uh, make our way down here. Ooh. Whoa. More spy planes. So this is like right by Area 51. Look, photography of this area is restricted without, you know, permission, use of deadly force authorized. So Lara really shouldn't be here in this area, as you can see. She might get in over her head quite shortly, I'd imagine. So um, this is a don't come here area. And um, there actually is a way to make that jump, but you're not supposed to make it now. Right, what's in here? Okay, so I was a tad early, but that did exactly what I imagined it would do. It filled it with water. Because we're in Aquaman society. We found the biggest oasis in all of the Nevada desert. <laughs> if, there's, if there's a drought in Nevada, they should just come live in this timeline. So that's climb back in here so I think the crawl sprint definitely speeds things up along alrighty oh It's so much more relaxing when you know you've gotten all secrets because it's like you can just kind of focus on the adventure now. Um, oh, because this opened and that was the one related to that. Although we pulled that second lever, we never quite understood what it did. So it might not hurt just to do a save now in case I made a bit of a mess up. So 
what you want to do now is obviously jump over into restricted area. Yeah, look at the electricity off the walls. Yeah, there's supposed to be just like a biker gang hangout that's just near Area 51. Do you know what I mean? Because it's not military related. Whoa, where did that spy plane come from? <laughs> See, this is fun. This is like Tomb Raider working the way it should be. India should have had more of this. Yeah, this must be just a biker gang's hideout. See, I love the girl. It's a nuclear table. It's biker gang. Aw, oh, and we're killing them. The poor innocent biker gang. Yeah, because like they're all into conspiracy theories about Area 51 and aliens. They had a little pool table to keep themselves company. Oh, see, this makes more sense to me now as an adult. Because again, I, like last time I played this, I was a child. So yeah, they're totally all in on Area 51 conspiracies. But because we're Lara Croft, we're going to actually figure it out. Do I see sparks coming from that safe? Don't touch it. Because I run over to it. And we need a key card to activate him. He's like, he's really going to be really mad at us. So as we saw in the next shed over, there is a quad bike waiting for us. And a slope, what could we possibly do with that? You can die with your brother. The music's a banger too. Boom. Do, 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 do. I love the music because it gives like that real feeling of momentum. Okay, there's something up there. So let's hop onto the quad bike. Let's slide up here. Whoa, 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 whoa. This quad bike can't be tamed. I didn't even have the sprint on. I was just doing like a regular. Stop, 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 stop. Yeah, look at this giant multi-pass card. <laughs> this is very, um, the fifth element. <laughs> so let's go back down. Because I did see a switch there. You should obviously press it. It is interesting though that the biker gang borrowed military police. Oh, I missed the planes for a second time. I forgot about them. Watch this, though, this is funny. Wait for it. <laughs> Don't touch that switch just yet, no matter how tempted I am. <laughs> it's interesting, though, like, Lara could have helped those conspiracy terrorists into Area 51. But, like, they just wanted to kill her instead. I guess she's invading their property and Americans and their, you know, how they are over their land. You come into my land. Get the generator access. Okay, so that's turned off the power by its clear signage. The game's pumping you up. You're on a mission now. Gotta break free with this quad bike.
Oh wait, stop. <laughs> now we can turn this off. This will open the doors for us. So this is a lot of fun because now you get to ride the quad bike around the open area and of course there's only one way to go this way. So if you're new to quad biking or you're finding difficulty I would recommend you save right now and uh, yeah I think if you're a fan of two out of three in Nevada you're gonna know exactly what happens. In fact let's give her a, a good speed up, some boost. Whoa, look at her go. She is crazy. <laughs> like a fox. <laughs> so she's way in over her head and she landed on her back or her belly, literally. You crazy geek freak. What kind of stunt is that to pull? Let's take her in. <laughs> she don't look much like one of them. Maybe she's an eco terrorist or something. And they wear hot pants. Look at the American accents they're putting on for them. <laughs> so military police have found us after our quad bike stunt. And they're carrying us off to where, I wonder. And that was the Nevada desert, 42 minutes, three out of three. And I missed, of course, one pickup because that is so me, so on brand, but I'm happy enough to proceed. I never said this would be the best walkthrough you could follow, but sure, it is an eclectic one. And again, I've never done an all secrets playthrough of Tomb Raider 3, and I'm aiming it so far. We are so on our way to getting all hollows. I mean, we're gonna get all hollows regardless, but I haven't had to play a level for a second time just yet. Let's go to the next level, the high security compound and see what trouble Lara has found herself in. What's this? Oh, they restored this cutscene. I remember they found this in the files a few years ago. But this was never in the original game, they restored it. Well, that's amazing. Oh, I, I got... I'm, and this is my first time seeing this cutscene. And they even animated her eyes and everything. Like, she looks like she'd get hit over the head. <laughs> that's incredible. I know it's just a little cutscene, but I believe this was found in the files and they, maybe they just weren't able to fit it onto the PlayStation. And they restored it. So that's like why remasters are so important because it allows stuff like this to happen. So here we are in the high security compound and as you can see we lost everything, all of our ammo, all of our melee packs. So don't be precious, you should have used them. Okay there's two secrets to get in this level so let's jump right in and save. So yeah this is what I used to look like. They did a lot of lighting in this one with the way the, the rays are coming in. So let's do this. And the military police are going to be really angry at us because they're like, are you trying to escape? But um, let's... Ooh. Hang on. I'm doing terrible. God, the AI is much better in this than in the original. Oh my god. Hang on. I'm trying to get help. <laughs> I'm doing terrible. Thank you. Please take care of them. Okay, I'm gonna get some more help for you. Yeah, those men are strong. So this is similar to the pet to the Tibetan monastery of Tomb Three. You should totally get a selfie, but they got I was just trying to take a selfie with you for helping us. Like, there we go. And they're kind of good looking too. They knew what they were doing. Look at them, they're kinda of like hairy arms and stuff, but they got muscles. God, this playthrough is revealing way too much about me. Story time. How did I get up in, how did I get in here? She looks a lot like Angelina Jolie in this one. Hey. Okay, that's funny. So there is she can they do have more friends, I believe, don't they? Maybe in this one. Just another friend for the guy. We'll call him. I was gonna say let's call him Billy Bob. That's just because I have Angelina on my mind now. Okay, they all look the same. So we got some hunks that are gonna help us around this high security compound because we're like, fuck the police. But actually, um, one of the rooms 
has something interesting in it that has um, a little passage right there. I don't remember if there's any pickups in any of the other rooms. I don't believe there is. Oh, we have all the beds now. These lads are just, whoa, they're like in formation. So the prison budget for military police is on all time low. The poor prisoners don't even have stair railing. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, this level can be a bit of a ball ache. Um, it's just complicated, lots of corridors that look the same and it can get very repetitive and sometimes uninspiring. And I think something you probably noticed with the classic Tomb Raider games is that the variety of locations and how creative they are that kind of keep you engaged. And you know, it is when it is, it is what it is, I suppose. We're going to, um, What's the name of that film where they break out of the prison? With Morgan Freeman? Shawshank Redemption this. <laughs> That's it. Okay, we're, that can't be pulled any further. Now I believe if you push this one in. Now, am I right in saying that there's a secret here? Because isn't there like, yeah, there's like this path thing. So I believe if you do this and we crawl in there, there's something to be had. You know, the drug, the drug squad hid something for the prisoners. Oh my God, that's it. That's exactly what they did, ammunition and stuff. Like Oz. Or orange is the new black. Yeah, shotgun bullets. Oh no, it's a med pack. We don't even have any weapons. Come on, Lara, you can grab it. But yeah, this is beautiful. Like even, like, you know, like they might have worked, didn't they? They put some little lights here to, you know, just add some variety to the, to the level. She's looking really good. <laughs> Ooh, careful now. I imagine that's still gonna hurt. Oh, you see. The thing with the barbed wire is with the remastered graphics, they've added more barbed wire, obviously just to make it look better, but it has that side effect that you don't know if you're actually touching the, the hitbox or whatever of it. Oh no, I did it wrong. Oh, thankfully they fixed the um, parallax effect. Looks way better now. Yeah, I probably don't want to go in there just yet. Let's see what's here first. So this would be more, I'd say, similar to Natla's Mines. I forget which one's which. I actually forget. Like I. I like I don't play this level that often. This is beautiful. Got a nice visual upgrade. So we have some sonar, some radar. This is like where military police are scanning for aliens. Oh, look, there's a guard waiting by two double doors. I wonder if this is giving us hints. That's really cool if it is. Oh yeah, look. Is he on patrol? Because I think this has AI. I think they're on a patrolling pattern. Yeah, okay, shh. So what we need to do then, I think, is pull. 
pull this. I don't know why I'm whispering. <laughs> it's not like you can hear me through the computer. Oh, I heard a hey. We've been caught out. Okay, but we let the prisoners out. They'll take care of it for us. Again, I hear gun bullets. Oh, he shot one of the prisoners. Oh, I told you the police are scum. They need to take that fucker out. Defund the police. <laughs> this is getting awfully political. <laughs> um, oh my god, I think he killed one of our friends. Oh, what a jackass. So thankfully though, we do have them on our side. And yeah, just be careful of their patrolling pattern. As we saw there. I mean, maybe they would have lived if I waited for him to get to the end of this corridor first. But yeah, they did a good job with the lighting in this level. Like they really worked hard to make it look good, even though this could be more boring. I'm pleasantly surprised is what I'm trying to say. I assumed this would look worse in the remaster because I, I kind of feared with Nightmare in Vegas. I was like worried about these urban areas, but so far so good, which again, you know, really hats off to everyone. So save a lot when you don't have your guns. <laughs> So is this where the canteen is? I remember there's like a canteen. This is a bathroom. Yeah, look at them. Like they have no privacy on these toilets. I prefer the blue light of this one, but it's fine. Like imagine taking a piddle or, you know, more than a piddle. I mean, at least got ample toilet roll. <laughs> it's the small things, making sure they have toilet roll. Um, I guess this is like a supply closet for all the toilet paper. Well, there's a block there. And there's... Do we have to like guide it all around? Oh, two meter three. So extra. We're probably not going to get access. That's probably like our exit zone or something, isn't it? So let's start the block pushing. And we'll bring it around this way. Imagine if the if our if our body um, our inmates follow us and you're like, what is she doing in the supply closet of the bathroom? Oh, did they make the lights 3D? Yeah, they really went all out on this one. You can tell that they, whoever you know, the team that worked on this were fans of Tomb Raider One and Tomb Raider Three, because they went extra hard on spicing up this. And fair play to them. I don't even know if I'm doing this in order. I just said, let's get some, let's get some things done. You know, let's be productive. I remember there's like an up an opera house, like esque kitchen fan area. <laughs> That's what I remember about this level. And I remember it takes a really long time for you to get your guns back. Yeah, so unlike the offshore rig or even Natha's mines, we're gonna be weaponless for a very long time. So we can definitely hop in there. Um, but I don't know if I'm doing it in the right or there. So apologies if I'm doing this absolutely backwards. Again, I didn't promise you this would be the best walkthrough. I just said it would be one. Because you know, we need to get to the end of the game. But we do have a switch, which bodes well. Oh my god, this place is flooded with water. Who could you imagine swimming in sewage? That would be actually disgusting. So now we're actually locked in here, so we can't do anything, but it probably will give us access to this room up here. Ooh. Imagine like leaving, going back to the inmates, and you're just smelling of like crap. Yeah, because these are like heat fans. 
Oh, I hope I'm doing this in order. Seems like I might not be doing this in order. Well, I can't hop down there until I turn that off. No way. I might be doing this out. I feel like maybe I need to turn off the, the oven <laughs> from another... <laughs> Could you imagine seeing that in a Tomb Raider game? Turning off the oven <laughs> another area of the map. Oh, this level is so confusing sometimes. And you do need to be careful where you're going because if you activate a guard they will shoot you and you will die because you can't defend yourself. So you just need to be super cautious about where we're wandering into. I think I might be wrong place, wrong timing it. Let's turn off the oven. Yeah, my guess is we can go that way. But I guess this way is going to get us in a lot of trouble. Oh no, this is the canteen I was thinking of. Oh, I think we did it right. Oh, never mind, folks. This was the canteen I was telling you about. Oh, we're back here. Grand, grand, grand. So we did the objective right. So let's go back and um, go to the oven. <laughs> Unless it's a two-parter, so you have to turn off the fan as well. Like you can even hear the fan now. This is like the kitchen for the prisoners. Oh, but we can open the door from here though. Ah, oh, that's cool. Grand, easy access. At least we've done that now for us. Oh my God, just get us. Just trying to make our lives a bit easier. Oh, I think there's a guard in there. Did you see that? I'm scared because like if he comes for us. I say you must be able to turn those fans off. I do remember when I was younger just jumping in and just hopping by the skin of my teeth. But I think I might just glitch my way in. Oh, well, at least he doesn't have a gun. But he does have a baton. Ah, oh, look if we can climb onto tables. <laughs> it's fun. Um, help. Oh, okay, let's follow the men. Where are they going? We want to go. Yeah, back up. Bring back up. Oh, no, we don't need back up. Yeah. You're the man. <laughs> We're like, you got this. We got this. Okay, so that bathroom's flooded. Let's not flood the entire prison in slime water. They're like, Lars, there's a smell off you. And we're like, we know. It's a long story. Whoa, so there's multiple buttons in here. What does this one do? So that just close the door. Oh no, thank you. Let's leave that open. Got some sonar, some radar. We're all looking at the same CCTV footage. So this is just the security room, I'm guessing. Yeah, so that room opened, which is cool. But I don't know if we're supposed to be going in here. In fact, doesn't she even get blown towards them? Oh no, I mean, it's, it's kind of hinting that we can do this. <laughs> okay. Ooh.
Is there a trap ahead? The ladder, look, the ladder looks pretty great, actually. Could you imagine the big security guard waiting there for us? Thank you all. Don't know who you are, my friend, but thank you for doing that for me. So I think we are in a new part of the prison complex. How does his handprint though activate it? <laughs> and how did he get stuck here? I feel like there's a guard up there. I feel like I have some trauma. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ah, and there's even a turret in the sky. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, he's following us. He's on our tail. Oh my god, there better be something here. More men. Oh, thank god. That was intense. Oh, security guard. Card. Hey, those men can climb out of here. Nothing there. They should have put like a door texture or something. I don't like it when there's like a corridor for an enemy to come out of, but like, why are they just waiting there? Uh, save. <laughs> As you can see in high security compound, you're definitely doing a lot of saves. I'm sweating. Gosh, I hope I'm doing this in the right order. It feels right, but you never know. That gun's not gonna go for us. And hopefully that one isn't either, even though there's a big satellite dish that's roaming around. Um, I'm saving. I don't like the look of all those guns. Did you think he's seen us? So actually you can hide. The AI is, is smart enough to, that allows you to do that. So why don't we go in here? Aha! Twins! Guess they were roommates. Prison lovers. Let's see our prison lovers. They were sharing a cell together. That's hot. Prison lovers. <laughs> oh, because it's, look, it's the same. 
Maybe they're the same ones. No, one bed between the two of them. They came out together. Interesting. Oh, you took care of our guy for us, did you? Gosh, you a gent. Oh, they did. What a prince. They must have dropped this for us. Thank you. <laughs> the guy, those men did their dirty work and we weren't even witness. But yeah, they did a nice job at high security compound. Look at the rays in the sky. As long as it doesn't shoot at us. Imagine if it starts shooting a missile at us. That'd be horrific. Oh my gosh. So this is the yellow security pass. In a very weird shape. The shape of a butt plug. And yeah, look, isn't that cool? That like, it's like, those are the military invisible jets we saw on the last level. And after just parked there waiting to fly out on a mission. Okay, I was wondering what was going on. <laughs> I was nervous. Yeah, I think this is the one where you need to do the crawling, isn't it? This is the one where the crawl feature comes in handy if you're new to this game. You have to stay low, like do a leap. I don't think he can see us in the glass. Yeah, so this is what we're supposed to do. This is a really cool mechanic. Um, it was the third game they really wanted to spice things up. So I believe what you're supposed to do is you have two things. You can either trap him or you can actually use the trap to kill him if you time it just right. So... Let him loop it. I want to kill him with it. I think it's funnier when you kill him. You can trap him on his um, guard patrol pattern. But I believe if you... Isn't that fun though? You can do that. And that kills the guard. I think that is such a cool thing that you'd never expect from Tomb Raider. Uh, Lara can just jump over that. I don't think he dropped anything. But I do think it's really cool that he can dispatch of the military police using a laser. I wonder what's in there. I feel like I'm actually quite proud of myself. I remember being finding this much tougher the last time I played. Although from what I remember, this is like the second half, the second half of the level, and it does get harder now. It gets a bit more confusing. I don't even know how these minimum wage military police find their own way around here. Maybe they're just assigned to learn only certain sections. They only got clearance for certain areas. Like how employees at Coca-Cola don't know all the recipe of the Coke. <laughs> Which I think is a myth because I feel like someone's going to gossip. But this is fun though. Look, we can literally on top of where the, um, this thing is. Isn't that fun? Yeah, we're literally going to control this satellite dish, which I think is really cool. And they're just waiting to help us. They're like, uh, we can't help you with that. So let's carefully work our way down. If only we had a gun to shoot through the glass. I'm struggling with how to get down. Thank you very much. This doesn't feel like an area where you have to take force damage. I feel like I'd have trauma and remember that. Oh no, sure look, there's a little door passage here. Perfect. Oh, this brings us into the radar room. Cute. Look how far visuals have come. That animates now. 
Oh, they can pull this. Push it, I mean. Wow. Forgot it does that. I'm saying I'm damned if that's going to get me. Oh, I remember where this is. Sorry. See, this is where it gets confusing. Wow. I was lucky. So thankfully that satellite was light enough, even though it looks like it's so heavy, but I guess it's on wheels. And we can now fall. Yeah, if I remember, we're fighting currents. Oh my god, just go this way. I don't even care. I just don't want to drown. I'll turn them off at another point. Do we think we can get into the middle? This is where like you're gonna do a lot of saving and trial and error. This is where if you're playing the PlayStation version, you'd be screwed because you'd only have save crystals <laughs> and you would only have a finite amount of them. Oh, we're going to do it. We're doing it. We're going for it. We're going for it. We're going for it. Right. Well, we're not meant to be there, clearly. Be careful. This is where photo mode comes in handy. I was going to say let's go this way but actually that's a dead end and there's no switch so we need to wait for him to go back that way. When he comes back this way then we'll make a run for it. We'll get into this position. We'll roll out and then sprint for it. We'll run like our lives depend on it. Oh he saw us. Run, 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 run. I don't think the game can soft lock you. So let's have a swim about. I'm kind of lazy. Let's use photo mode. There is. I don't think we're going to be able to get up there though. Do you know that? And I see nothing in the water to help us. I don't see any live levers, levers. Maybe we can just swim up. I don't think with the current we can, but. Now let's give it the college try. Oh, we can. Oh my gosh, we did it. Whew. Okay. Never mind. We're back on track, folks. This looks like the way forward. Yeah, I prefer the blue atmosphere up here. And then we're climbing into a computer system. We're climbing into the mainframe. <laughs> into a motherboard. Oh, lovely. You know, I'm not angry about that, but how do I get the heck out of here? I can't climb out of here, so where are we going? Let's save and just see what happens. I mean, we're obviously doing something right.
how their fortune changed here. Photo mode is actually great for doing this. Oh, it did. Perfect. Aha. Perfect. Okay, he can't shoot us. We trapped him. See how nervous I was getting? That is like so nail biting to me. I honestly, I love how they didn't take our artifact. I honestly have no clue about the second secret. This could be the first level of the Let's Plays overall where we have to Google. I'll get to the end of the level, I won't get the secret and I'll have to Google where is what the solution is because you can see how much I'm struggling just passing this level and I've always struggled passing this level. It's why I never really was compelled to do an all secrets run of Tomb 3. I just kind of thought it was amazing just to pass the game anyway. But yeah, oh my gosh. Like, yeah, this is such a mind maze. And you can see just how dramatically bigger they can make the maps in this game compared to the um, the first two. That was a feature touted by Core Design, was a larger playing area. And boy, is this a larger playing area. I mean, even the biggest levels of Tomb Raider 2, like, I think some of us maybe feel that way about levels like, um, you know, Opera House or maybe the monastery. This is just huge in comparison, even bigger than those. Or at least more confusing, but I feel like this is definitely a bigger level than Opera House. Because I mean, think about how far we've come from the first prison cell area. This map's huge. And the outdoor areas in this are so big. And there's still more to come. Like, there's still plenty of level left. Right, so. Let's go the ladder first. Don't say anything, don't move a muscle. <laughs> this is such this is the most intense no weapons level of the trilogy by far. Mostly because I think this was the one where they hired an AI programmer. So you can see they're able to do cool things like this. She doesn't really have stealth until Angel of Darkness, so you're kind of just at the mercy of the walk button. And I just sprinted up there like a fool. I'm like, oh. Um, I know where to put that, but before I do, let's hop down here into this pit. I'm glad I did a save. Had I been on the PlayStation 1 25 years ago in 1998, wouldn't have been available to do that. Has it been 25, 26 years? So we got the yellow one, which means we can stick it in here. Thank you very much. Perfect. So now we can get into the water. We can do a swan dive from here, can't we? Sorry, this level's such a nightmare. Like, I'm breathing heavily. So I don't know if anyone's noticing. Okay, so this is shut down, which means we can get in here. There's no more current. And let's see where this takes us. Give me, give me, give me them 
players, boy. A laser? Jesus, I nearly killed myself with that. My blood pressure is so high, like I'm breathing so heavily. I don't know if my microphone will pick that up. It's like I'm gonna like die. I'm like, ugh. You know what would be really interesting? Is that when I get the guns, because you will get your guns back in this level. If we go back to the areas where that guard had the, like the guns and stuff, like all the areas, I bet maybe that's where you could have a secret. If I was a betting man, that's where I put a secret. Because you'd forget about it by the time you got the guns. Oh look, he just spawned in. We have help. So this is a new area. Oh look, the military police above us. Yikes. Yikes, 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 yikes. But we're making progress. Who's he going after? Hello? Who? Where are you going? Who did he, who did he kill? Oh, he gave us a hint. There was a door. That pushable. Are you pushable? Are you pushable? There you go, just double checking. Oh my gosh, we found our weapons and the guy led us straight to us. Thank you, prison man. So we got a Desert Eagle. This is our first Desert Eagle pickup of Tomb Raider 3. We also got a load of uh, medipacks and ammunition. We have a large help pack and we have our pistols. I believe something that they've done for the remaster is they've given us back the exact amount. No, that's a lie, they did not. <laughs> I thought that was something I read on Twitter that they were doing in the remaster. That... Wow, we nearly died. <laughs> My breath just nearly went. Ugh, two meter three continues. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have a heart attack. Oh my, I nearly had a stroke there. I actually need, them. I need like some water. <laughs> Those lasers, like... Oh my gosh. You can't aim at them, but please don't shoot those men. They were so helpful to us. <sighs> what we should do is run up there and have a fun revenge moment. But actually, I, because I don't want to forget, I want to test this theory. Is there something to the logic of, remember where we collected that yellow key thing? If I go back there, now that I have my pistols and I can shoot him, will there be something there? Because if I was a betting man, that's where I'd bet my money. Because very few of them had guns. They all used the baton. And there was only one of them that didn't have a baton, a gun, and he shot one of the prisoners. I remember that. But every other one had batons just to give you the opportunity, but like that's one of those, if you piss him off, he will shoot you. So I'd love to see if there's something to that. Yeah, so if we go back here, we can actually shoot multiple of them. Do you remember this one when I locked away? You. I bet you have a secret, don't you? No. 
my cherry, maybe. Wrong. I hope it's worth a try. Maybe I'll get an achievement, though. Hello there. Siri. Jesus. Oh, I closed the door, so I can't even get back there. Yeah, I might as well do it. I get an achievement. Is there any police left? There was that one, and there was the other one, where we got the yellow pass. Back it, there might be an achievement. Let's do it, because I've, I've already left the area. I don't know if I'm right, but it would make sense if I was a game designer, that would be what I would do. Because I think when you get the guns, they get a really fun movie moment where it's like Lara extracts her revenge on the military police. And I just feel like that would be something. I never remember a secret after that point. So I feel like it has to be probably something to do with this. That's what my gut tells me. Maybe we'll get something as a reward. Cause I feel like they probably would reward the player for doing this. So wasn't it like up here? Oh, there better be something waiting for us, otherwise I'm gonna be so angry. Like I, I, I loaded, I can just load a save. I won't lose time. If there's no secret, I'll just edit this down so you'll just hear me talking about it. You won't see me do the full thing. Yeah, you. Hang on, let's take our Desert Eagle. Oh, 75 bullets, yeah. Do you have anything? He has... Oh, maybe I needed to come here for plot reasons because he has a key pass. Oh wait, there's a key pass here. Ah, so if you kill him, they want you to come back in here and kill him. Maybe this is plot related, I actually don't remember. Oh, it's a secret. There's nothing in it. Oh, we got, we got a gun. What gun is this? The grenade launcher. Oh, cool. Okay. Wait, did we actually get all secrets? Oh, I'm really proud of myself for doing that, actually. Ah, my hunch was right. I ha I just, you know, but sometimes you just have a feeling and you're like, if I was a game designer, I'd do this. But you know what is hilarious, though? I was going to say I forget where to go, but I remember now. I was like, where do I go back again? Just watch out for the lasers. Oh, I'm really proud of myself, sorry. I, I've never done that secret before at all. I just had a guess. I didn't even realize there was a key card there. But I just figured maybe if you shot them, that had guns, because you finally have a gun. I'm actually chill, sorry. If, I, you see, if you see me smiling, I'm just celebrating the win. <laughs> Because I, I thought this would be the level that would trip me up. I mean, I did find through India, but I was like, hmm. Like, I don't know what we're going to do for South Pacific. I mean, that one, apparently, you can get even more than 59 secrets. You can get 60. How the hell am I supposed to figure that one out? You saw how well I did in the River Ganges with all of our secrets so we can proceed. Look at him waiting for us. He's like, uh, Laura. I feel like I can do a nice save at the top. 69 saves, nice, of uh, Tomb 3. Yeah, this is a cool movie moment because there will be guards up here with guns, but you got guns too. Look at them running for cover. You went to tell your friends, didn't you? I'll make that easy for you, little doggy. This is a fun moment because you get your guns back. I should probably take a hot pack. <laughs> I 
Now, how did the prisoner use his hand to open the thing for us? This is a real, she's so cool. She's the Lara Croft moment. It feels like you're, it's like you're being exonerated for something. <laughs> ah, we do have the blue security pass. Moving the cargo thing. What's out here? I don't think you actually can go out here. Yeah, like it's just a void. <laughs> That's fun though. Yeah, see the gates close. <laughs> but we moved the crates, so let's see what that does. Oh, it's the ladder. Ah, oh, okay. Sorry, sometimes I don't even know the objective. Ooh. He's just like watching us. He's like, you can do this, Lara. <sighs> Is that really what we have to do? Oh no, it's not. We can monkey swing. They could have made the monkey swing look a bit more 3D. Imagine being a prison prisoner and you're just watching some crazy British lady doing acrobatics across the ceiling of a high security compound. You'd be like, whoa. Pen pal. <laughs> Don't believe what happened in my prison. I was hoping that we could jump or do something from there. I don't think we can though. Yeah, I was, I was on the right track. I think it's, oh, I just got her hit detection is terrible. I'm not as smart as you think I am. Because of course this is the answer. Crystals don't give you. Did I set off a trip wire? I got all secrets, so I don't know what the implication of a trip wire for me could be. There's no worries of boulders in this level. <laughs> this is towards the end of the level. It would be fabulous. 
if we can make it true without having to take another health pack just to keep our stats good. So this is a cargo truck. I'm gonna make our way in. They've been loading up a whole lot of cargo. Yeah, I knew you were pushable. <laughs> the text, the lighting always gives it away. Ooh, secret stash of goodies. More goodies. The military police set all the ammunition for the aliens. I love how you can see the clipping. So that uses like a hack with the room editor where it's like you can put invisible rooms in other rooms. It's hard to explain, but I think that's really funny how that works. So I feel pretty confident that I got all pickups. So why don't we take a cheeky save? and uh, hop into the back of the truck and see what nonsense Lara gets up to. Look at her having a soda pop, or as we'd call it here in Ireland, a can of coke. A fizzy drink. Ah, oh, what, what a queen, skinny legend. Full sugar, still not a pick on her. So that was this high security compound. Thank you very much, Xbox. We did keep all the... Oh, we, one of them died, didn't they? Don't tell Xbox, it's bugged. Um, this was definitely a long level, but if you can do it all, it's very rewarding. Got all pickups, pretty proud for this level. And yeah, we can now move on to the final stage of the Nevada section, Area 51. So, I just realized the military police guy in the wall, in the loading screen, kind of cute. So, um, nothing up there. Now, if I remember this level correctly, you have to race the guard because I think he might pull, he might turn off the armory. Isn't there like an armory or something? Yeah, 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 come on, let's race him. <laughs> Hang on. Let's try that again. Okay. As if I'm letting you near that. Don't go near the hand presser thing. So let's pick up some clips. And I believe this is for us anyway, our first encounter with the MP5. So this is very different than the M16 in Tomb Raider 2 because I believe it allows Lara to do a bit more running with it than the other weapon. It's also the first one she wears across her back like that, which would be a staple of how she would wear her weapons in um, Tomb Raider Legend Anniversary in Underworld. She kind of wears them across her back like that. I don't know why I did that. All right, don't pull that anyway. So let's keep going. Um, there is a little switch. I don't think there's anything else in the area. A CCTV camera. Damn, they're on to us. Like, let's use it. Now these lasers do piss me off quite a bit. So I'm saving my first save of the level. Right, I want that many pack. Ooh. 
Honestly, didn't think I'd survive that. Like, look at the lighting here, it's crazy. That sprint thing really comes in clutch. Oh, I thought her legs would get cut off there. Yeah, I think in this one you don't want the alarms to go off because there's like turrets and everything that can really get to you. So I'm happy to use the Desert Eagle for this. Yeah, look at the turret looking right at me. Okay, I should have went in here, in here first. Got a small med kit. Oh, we have a friendly guy. Hello. Please don't set off any alarms. He's thinking about it, don't you there? <laughs> he blows my cover. I'd be so angry. Let's grab the flares. Smooth sailing by those turrets. He's looking very trigger finger friendly. Let's do a save. I think the objective of this level is they make it harder for you if they use the handprints, if they use the um I don't even know the name for it. The hand infrared things. Now look at them. They keep going for that. So let's not let them go for that. Oh, I think they're going to lock off this door. This is another armory. Thankfully, we didn't let that happen. We have a harpoon gun, which is perfect. We got some grenade ammo and some rocket launcher ammo. And I'm not going to press that switch because I have an idea what that potentially might be for. So fair amount of weapons now. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot this happened. What's in here? Aha! Got one for not letting them touch the handprints. in there. What's in here? Oh sweet! First secret. How is this a secret? I thought this was where we were supposed to be. Sure like we have to be. Okay I don't know how that counts as a secret but anyway. Anyways. Sure it does. Ooh why are those? Oh I think it's just rocks. This is crazy. Like, it's all stealth. I wonder if this was originally also going to be a stealth level. It's like, why would you put that? Oh, look at them. They really went all out. So we have to go down there, but that other hatch hasn't opened. The secret hatch opened, which I'm not angry about, but how do I open that the hatch I actually need? Oh, there's a switch there. Fabulous. Yeah, how did I miss that? Oh, if you pull the switch, does this one close? Oh, I don't know how that counts as a secret. I mean, it's right there. 
Maybe the game gives you a certain amount of easy ones just to get you going. Oh, that, that doesn't sound very Tomb Raider 3, does it? Um, maybe his handprint for the security guard to get the achievement. Maybe that's secret related. Mm, that makes more sense. Okay, that's the only explanation I can come up with that makes sense. Is when you get down, you need to shoot him before he gets to the handprint. Otherwise... I was afraid there was a handprint. Um, you have to shoot that guard before he gets to the handprint. Otherwise, maybe he turns off the secret. Kind of like the armory. Yeah, that would make sense. Sometimes an alarms can be annoying. Should we have done that? Where did he come from? Oh no, did I just kill an innocent, a guilty <laughs> criminal instead of a dirty police cop? Oh, wait, there was another one. Ah, I don't mind. Let them roam free, my lovelies. I mean, weren't these ones weren't arrested for criminal activity. They were only arrested because they were trying to get into Area 51. I mean, that's not that bad. They were just trying to Naruto run. Oh, shotgun, look at me get all my weapons back. Where did they, um, where did the man go? Okay, we let him loose on everyone. How does he get to pass the security sensors, but not us? Can I can't just... I can get over those. Area 51 police. this one do? I shouldn't be pressing buttons, I don't know. Okay. Cool. This is the confusion, really. I can jump over the first one. Gotta be careful of those Tourette's. Like, what do you do? Area 51? Oh, we got to see what they look like, because I was killing them so quickly. We don't get to see their beautiful faces. Oh, they're kind of good looking with their little night vision. You know what? That could come and clutch the screen to the favor. Or is it? Oh yeah, so something about the guards in Tomb 3 is that if you stand in front of them as they die, they try to get one more shot in. So always get out of their line of fight because they'll try to finish you off. Does the MP5 have... It has a laser scope, but I don't think you can use it. That was a Tomb Raider 4 feature, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just thinking, like, there's those little holes in the ground. I was like, is that they can shoot them? That's a great shot of Lara. Gotta get all the poses done. Well, how do I get those doors to open? Let's just say, what happens if I cross green? Oh, did I kill an innocent? I 
Yeah. Fine, we can just set the alarm off now. I'm so over this. Whatever. See? If you stand in front of them, they'll shoot you. So that's... I know there's a set piece where you send a rocket off into space. Because that's a fun thing to do. There's the rocket. But I feel like, do we need to do something before... I know we have to get the keys and stuff. But, um... Like, we need that. But do we need anything for the other area? Because there's two areas. Try this one. See if he has anything on him. He does. Oh, he has a CD. Fabulous. I don't think that's for this area. I think it's for the other area. Because there's like the area with the computer. Like where you have to load the missiles. I remember that. Yeah, I remember this area. Okay. But I think there's lasers. Yep. So we have the CD. Because I've used this object many times actually for the level editor. So I know it by association with Area 51. It's like the weirdest computer terminal you've ever seen in your life. It's like it's 99. Even though this game was made in 1998, computers were not this big. But they feel like. Maybe to people in England, this is what computers should look like. Cause look where you put your CD in, isn't that crazy? Code clearance, hang on, how did it look in the old graphics? Yeah, yeah okay. So funny to me. So let's raise that up. Oh, there's something behind there. I was only interested in seeing how many polygons this thing had. That's from the Opera House. Oh, that's really interesting. Sorry. The assets are really... Oh, secret. Lame secret, though. The old graphics and give it away. Watch me be punished. Something will come right at me. Oh. Didn't see that even. Wait, this was like the second secret we got at the level and it's only been a save crystal. There are not even save crystals in this game. So lame. Look at these little missiles. But that means we can hop on this platform and I assume do ourselves a merry run and jump. <laughs> it's like the puzzles they put in Lara's way, they just so conveniently line up with her moveset. The US government, if only they had hired a different architect, she would have been floored. And how cool does Lara look? See, this would be a good screenshot though for me. Sorry, as if you guys care about screenshots. It is interesting because when she had the M16 in Tomb Raider 2, she wore it like all her other weapons. Whereas that one goes across your backpack. Righty-o. in a long long time and that thing keeps still going off anyway <laughs> aha pro gamer not even any need to climb down and go over the ladder ok 
Okay, let's try this again and not get whacked by the ceiling. Let's just go the safe way by walking. We will live if I take a large help back. <laughs> okay, let's climb up out of here. Here, this is the uh, the hangar access key. Is the name of it. This is what sends the missile into space. No, it's not. Oh, I can. You know, I've completely forgotten about this part of the level. <laughs> I don't even know what they were trying to do. It's like an electric. Okay, I remember this, but this was like a train or something, wasn't it? Or was that London? I think that could have been London. Similar puzzle setup anyway. Right, let's climb up here. Okay, no switches on the wall that I can see. I'm up here then. I didn't even notice this the first time. Radio. That's a button. I bet this is timed. Let me save. Nope. Never mind. That's still turned on. <laughs> Wasn't sure what that would do actually. Oh, let's raise this up. Fab. Yeah, it's like a little train, isn't it? Try this one more time. Grand. So, this. Helps us how? Oh wait, is there something up there? No, oh, there is, okay. It's like a little transport system. Maybe it's how the aliens moved about. So I can see color banding, like dark banding, so you can probably see it on stream as well. Okay, let's try this now. I was toast there. Oh, the purple, cute. <laughs> Saving. Uh, my YouTube comments for the, uh, the controls video for Tomb Raider Remastered, I got like a lot of mess like, I save after every jump, <laughs> which I think is funny. It's understandable. What? Where is he going? Oh my god, what was that about? God, this game has me on edge sometimes. For no good reason. Should I have let him? Maybe I should have let him. I don't think so. I think we did right. Oh, it's the UFO. It's more mood. It looked better in the old graphics. Like that's more scarier. I don't know what uh, that was about. 
Maybe he was going to open that for. Was he going to open that? Let's do a save. Let's find out. What's he about to do? Ah, I made no difference. Well, I got an extra kill. That's kind of fun. Yeah, it's far moodier in the old graphics. Like, there are sometimes it just hits better. Hopefully he didn't drop a pickup. Because I'm never getting that pickup if he did. <laughs> I don't know the difference between the yellow ones and the green ones. I don't really want to find out. I'm always worried. You yeah, look at the hand sensor over there. I see you. So this is another big area. Lots to see, lots to do. Oh wait, this is timed, isn't it? Shit, I remember this. This is timed. I've tried to block this out of my memory. the time door I remember this I remember this so well you know like when you have a traumatic flashback and you're like oh, I remember this it also seems kind of bugged That just closed on me again. That one obviously stays open far longer. So we'll push this one first. I might hear another door open too, I bet. It's those double doors. You know the ones I'm thinking of. You know the ones. <laughs> I'm nervous. I don't know which one's the price. Okay, let's do a cheeky save because I think we got in here, which is the main thing. I just hear all sorts of doors opening. idea which switch is the right one. I mean, am I a bit of a loon if I, you know... Is that too obvious if I do that? <laughs> Yep. 
Oh, because it, it's a tape room. I can see textures of tapes on the inside. Okay, 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 okay. Hang on, wait. <laughs> No, that isn't it. This is because it does cut to the to the camera of that. I don't even know where this bloody third secret is, though. Run, Lara, run. Is this the room? But look at the alien. Oh, this is sick. Can we get into the alien room yet? No. Oh, maybe the door opened from this angle, and that's why I saw. Okay. So. Well, there's a switch there. That must be a trap door for that, so let's give that a go. Grand. Okay, this is probably time, so come on, Lara, let's start climbing. Yay! going to though over that platform okay right and I drop down there there's a door there I wonder what was that other door that opened when I pulled that switch upstairs. I think I heard two doors, but... So there's a closed door there. Let's go this direction, might find something. So what's this do? Oh, <laughs> sorry, I'm, 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 I'm plank. Course. <sighs> so silly, sorry. So this is a launch code pass. Oh, I know where that's for. Um okay, sweet, 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 sweet. I mean, now I really don't know the difference between a green wire and a yellow trip line. Because the yellow one didn't kill her, it set that gun off, but so did the green one. You know what I mean? I think it's just for personality. That door never opened either. Oh, I left the shotgun shells. And so the backtracking of Tomb Raider 3 continues. I was like, if it was open up on me, I'm gonna be so pissed. <laughs> right, so we've got that. 
And doesn't this go in the pit here? Because we need to get underneath the rocket. Yeah, this is just a fun area. This is a cool moment. This is like a, a fun, you know, Tomb Raider moment. In fact, I feel like this is one of those moments that I want to use modern controls just so we can have some fun with the camera. So let's it, switch it to, because I want to see the graphics. So, ooh, ooh, <laughs> hang on. <laughs> right. Yeah, so this opens this. So we're going to set the camera back there and then we're going to run. Okay. That was an awful attempt. I was trying to make it look cool with the modern camera because I was like, we can get a good view of her running. That did not happen. <laughs> Don't do the problem with the modern controls is that when it does a fixed camera angle, you need to be pointing like tank controls, you need to be pointing forward. That's what it doesn't tell that's what the game doesn't tell you about modern controls, is that if the camera decides to fix itself in another location, your controls don't match up with the angle of the camera. So tank control or modern controls are just Ah, this is the cool moment I wanted. Oh, look at that. Isn't that fun though? We just sent an actual missile to who knows where. One of their enemies. I mean, it is 2024 at the time of this recording. I can only assume it's been sent to one location, unfortunately. Not to get political, which is just that's gonna just really ruin my day actually. I don't even want to think about it. But yeah, it's kind of low key sauce. <laughs> I hear people walking. I'm guessing that's gathered quite a, an audience of like what the hell was that? So this opened the trap door because obviously when you're a missile you can move heaven and earth. And trapdoors in the world of Tomb Raider. Did they double trapdoor to make sure no one could get up here under any circumstances? That's funny. Well, we have to come back. I'm gonna get that medipack at the end. Because if I fall, I fall. I was going to do a backflip and I was like, mm, better not. Don't push me. I nearly fell off the edge there. What does this do? Oh, the game is actually being nice to me for once. So maybe I do want that medipack. Oh, I nearly fell off the edge. You saw my eyes bulge there. I was like, oh. So what's in here? I can't believe that closed behind me. Oh, I hate this. Ooh. Damn, go, 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 go. Take. from the rooftop. Hey. This is fun. We're we're almost at freedom. This is the good old Nevada desert. This is obviously a hatch. Those are like two connecting hatches. <laughs> it's like um as I was saying the name of that film. 
um, the way they dig themselves out of prison. Shawshank. Look at the amount of water. I mean, Lara could just slide underneath there and get something. You know, I'm thinking about it too. Can Lara get underneath there? I mean, that would be inspired. Every time it gets me, like... So what does this security guard have? Code clearance disc. Or something. Well, I heard a hatch somewhere. Oh, this one. Does this bring me outside? If it does, I honestly can't remember. That's really fun. It's like we could escape if we wanted to. Oh, Jesus. Thankfully it was an instant death. Just an extra spicy laser. Ah, we're... Oh. Isn't that crazy how the maps connect to each other like that? Never, never, so much amusement. Well, I'm guessing that CD is for the alien section. Oh, where are you, babes? Yeah, look at this CD machine. Watch this now. I bet this is definitely for it. So I heard two doors open, so we should keep that in mind. Oh, wait. That one there opened. Okay, let's go into this one first because this is such an iconic moment. It's an alien. Oh my god. Lara, what have we got ourselves into? Whoa. I didn't realize we could move her. I only noticed, I only discovered this a photo mode now if you hold some of the buttons down. Poor E.T. is just trying to rest and she's like, oh my god, they were right. <laughs> it's brilliant though. So yeah, that's what photo mode's really good for. So there's two aliens, because look, there's two tables and only one cadaver. Isn't that scary though? And they were experimenting on it. Or no, I think the lore, wasn't it like the ship crashed? Because like, that's not government damage. I think that's like wounds from the crash. I, growing up I used to think it was the military experimenting on the corpse of an alien but actually I think it's supposed to be like when the UFO crashed you know Elvis there or whatever died from the crash and they were operating on the carcass. Oh look at the look at them the little dolphins. I say we can get in there. Oh, there's a crystal. Oh, okay, that's a secret then. Okay, ooh. <laughs> I didn't even bloody notice the second alien. No, I don't get this one. Is he powering up the dolphins? He's doing something to the dolphins, this alien. The, the energy of an alien. Oh, that's so creepy. It, it looks better in the modern graphics in here. It's more moody. They've, they've done a good job. <laughs> I can't believe I got scared by that second alien. Oh, this hatch. This is a hatch that opened. Um, did that door open? It did. Okay. Haha. -ha. I'm on to you, game. The thing with Tomb Raider is you really have to, if you're going for all secrets and you're not doing a walkthrough run, you really have to keep an eye on every door that you come across. Particularly in Tomb Raider 3. In Tomb Raider 1 and 2, I have to be honest, the secrets ain't that hard. But in this one, 
it's a real you know just keep you have to memorize every door where does it go have you been in it does it open if not and as hard as I thought, he says, before he gets to the South Pacific. <laughs> I know in the South Pacific, there is something about getting like an extra secret. Because they mentioned in the bug report that they fixed it. I should save though, if I'm going to do that. I mean, I got the secret. I could just leave, but let's try to get the save crystals. Oh my god, look, we can swim with the dolphins. Oh, they're communicating with us. And they're in sync. Their bodies are in sync. Free Willy. Swim with or orcas. I thought they were dolphins. Okay, they're orcas. Go to my... Oh, look at them. They, don't, they won't harm you. They won't harm a thing. I'm not going to do it now. I'm not going to do it. Yeah, thankfully it won't even let us do it. I'd never harm a dolphin. <laughs> he says pulling out the harpoon gun and the rocket launcher. Oh. Okay, survive that. Damn. Yeah, I'm blinking. Okay. So this is also fun. So this looks like a little, a little, a little mini size UFO. But actually, what you'll find is when we climb inside. Ooh, this is disgusting. I love it. And we take out shotgun. So while it looks like a tiny little, little UFO, you're going to actually find, and as you can hear the door hatch closes, it expands into an even bigger UFO. Like this is not to scale. And again, the game designers were using how the engine works and the hacks of the, the grid system. It looks good in the new graphics. Like it has that Atlantis feel. Look, there's just military hanging out. It's like, yeah, this is where we... It's like, this is our... Our smoke break. We go for a smoke break in here. It's really spacious. We love what the aliens have been doing with the place. But yeah, look, you're just constantly climbing into new areas of the spaceship. It's massive. Like, isn't this the coolest thing you've ever seen? And look at the alien controls. I think this is so cool. So obviously if you pick up our artifact, element 115 I believe, 115, you will trigger, um, oh look there's more aliens in here. Oh they did a nice job, this remastered beautifully, oh who did that? Oh yeah, I want to have a quick look before you all kill me. Oh I think the alien was hurting me. Yeah look at this. Okay, I must have gone all pickups then. But it's not fun though. Hang on, let's sit in an alien chair before we go. I think I can probably pose her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, hang on, let's get the pose and everything ready first. We should get an achievement for putting her in that chair. Yeah, let's have her really sit into it. She is chilling. Oh my god, her Instagram is gonna be lit. Lara's sitting in an alien chair, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, I should have had her sitting in the one with the alien in the background. Where, where's the alien? Sorry folks, this is way too entertaining for me. That's brilliant, photo mode, love it. Okay, so 
After a long play with photo mode, let's finish off area 51 of 2 meter 3 and complete the Nevada section. So there we go, I missed two pickups still, inevitable. And we got element 115. So this was area 51, which means if you click in now, we have completed. Yeah, come on, keep those. Mm-hmm. I didn't turn on the turrets. Um, we've completed the Nevada section, which means our next options are the South Pacific Islands or London. And I honestly don't know where to go next. You see, we've been somewhere nice and hot, like we had like a nice summer climate. So do you want another beachy weather climate or do you want to go to the rooftops of London? See, I'm trying to also pace this video because it's like you're going to have India, eh, Nevada, cool. Then we could do London, a bit of a flop era, but then we could go to South Pacific, which is always fun. And then we go to Antarctica, which is super cold and also kind of in its flop era. So I, I, I don't know. I think I'm gonna, a lot of people choose South Pacific before London, but I'm gonna shoot myself in the foot and we're gonna go with London first. So let's go to London. Oh, I love the London loading screen. Does the London hack still work where you can kind of complete it in under a minute? It was like, yeah, it does still work. So I think it's, you do a bit of this. No, I'm not gonna complete this in under a minute. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get this done in a minute. I have to really speed this up. I did get it in under a minute actually. <laughs> That's crazy. There is a hack you can do to complete Tame's Wharf in under a minute. It's really funny, but let's play the level properly. Right, so this is the London level. <laughs> I really don't remember. I know the first secret because I just showed you it with the, um, the shortcut. But, oh, this is just, this le like, where do you begin? You know, but anyway, let's get the first secret just so we can feel better about ourselves. She does look awesome in the cat suit with the sunglasses. Here's something that's really funny though, I don't know if this is like the canon way to get the secret. Ah, must be. But do you know what I mean though, like is it... Like, or do, cause we come back here though at a later point, don't we? I could be getting the secret in the wrong order, but we all know about this shortcut, so I feel like this is probably how a lot of us get the secret. Oh, I just realised that blows in the wind. It's like um, a cover on a building renovation or whatever. Err... Uh, like when I say I, I really don't remember these London levels. <laughs> My commentary is going to be so bad in these levels because I, it's like I have to concentrate on what the heck is it, like what am I doing? But her cat suit's amazing. That's the thing with the London level is that it's kind of, you know, it's like you want to play because it's like, oh, Lara in a cat suit, fun, fun, fun. But that's also like, this is hard. I've edited my videos up until now and I unfortunately don't, I just don't see it in my future that I'll be able to... And what's going on here? We always see down there. Oh, okay, because we must be able to see up here from another point in the level. I didn't even realise that. Um, yeah, like, uh, uh, just a hard game, like, yeah. <laughs> I'm speechless. That's the effect of the London levels they have on me. But yeah, no, what I was trying to say was I didn't know if... I don't, I don't think I'm going to get this into one Let's Play video, so I'll probably stop it after the London levels. And then we'll do a part two. Because my YouTube account has a time limit of 12 hours, and I know it's much easier just to watch it in one video. Particularly, I don't know, maybe you're just relaxing and you're watching it on the TV, or you know, you're put on at night time. 
and I apologize and also they probably I probably will um spread it out over oh this is supposed to be a grain oh that's funny okay so let's climb back here then and get the heck out of here grand so we got the first secret of the level at least we did something productive because what you're about to see me now do it's a whole lot messier how do i even get over this aha see i was worried i'd fall into that so i mean i'm gonna save <laughs> uh i guess we'll just make our way down here oh yeah look at the bird We can shimmy. Although I feel like that big slope means we'll just that we'll be using that to come down at another. Yeah, I don't think. I don't know what to think. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is like. I don't know if this is gonna even be fun to watch for you because again, I, don't, I can't really give you funny commentary because you're just gonna see me kind of deer in the headlights for the London section. Oh, isn't there like a baddie? So we're going to slide, okay, let's just do it, don't think about it too hard. Oh, those men are kind of cute. Oh, so they're private military. So that's the difference HD graphics make. Is like, you can think about their costumes a bit more, and you're like, oh, they are private military by a certain someone. Um, let's pull this one. Oh, does that lower that? And now, why would I want to do that? What's in it for me? Okay, so I can get down there at a later point, but we still need to go in here first. If I was a lard, I'd probably take my sunglasses off. This is hard enough as it is. <sighs> These giant rats. Well, they didn't tell any lies about the state of London and their rat infestation. The thing is though, you can't actually shimmy sideways. Like you can't do a corner shimmy. <laughs> now is that going to fall out from underneath me? Okay. Rats, though, they're giant. Her pant suit is very cool. Let's use the shotgun. Oh, I like what they did with the place. I like the little light beams. Cute. So it used to look like this. Very 2D. They've done their best. Remember I was worried about how the urban areas would look? So far, so good. So we've gotten a key. Now my favorite part of any Tomb Raider game, where does that key go? Alright, let's just drop down anyway. It's got some good pickups. Worth our time. What is, this, what is this supposed to be? A warehouse? Or... It's like there's little windows and stuff. You know? Maybe just don't think about it too hard. But I've got a key. I've got to put that somewhere. I'm glad they did that for me now. So, just get back up. So we got a key. Maybe the key has a hint on it. I'll look in the inventory now in a minute. The horizon of London is beautiful though. Right. So we can safely drop there. I was gonna say, what if that platform doesn't open for us? Look, it looks like a trap door that should open. But I don't think it is. I'll save again. And while we're here, let's see what this key says. Flu room key. Oh, this is the one with the chimney. I had because I remember having to specifically look up and be like, what is a flu? And a flu is a chimney, but you wouldn't necessarily have it in a room. But you know, that's what that's the fictionalized bit of the game. So imagine you get here and then it's like you can't get back up 
That is how the game tricks you out. Because this is the way you come back then. Safely drop down here. And let's get the second secret. I do know this one. Oh no, I hear a bird. Where is it? bullets I don't really know how the player is supposed to know that you can crawl there there's no visual hints that's the problem at tomb 3 it's not even like a special texture <laughs> it's more of a if you know you know because they said we got to make some money selling strategy guides and the Isles hint line. Um, let's climb up here because I actually think we can do something in here. Where does this bring us? To the floor room. Where are we going? Ooh, spicy. Um, this one with like with the paint bucket and stuff. Oh, you just saw my life flash before my eyes there. Um, how the hell am I supposed to safely get down? Maybe he is not supposed to, but I just did see that thing open. Yeah, I don't think there's anything down there in that one. <laughs> Probably a big secret and I'm going to miss it. Yeah, but I don't think there's anything down there. Right, let's proceed onwards. Okay, I think it's safe for us to actually drop down because... What? I do need to take a health pack. I'm running out of time. Oh no, please don't tell me I needed to be in the next building over and there's nothing down here. Oh my stupid ass. Yeah, cause I don't see a switch on this one. Okay, time to cheat my photo mode. Was that switch the next one over? Surprisingly not, no there's nothing down here. So we did have to come down here. But like, where's the switch? I didn't see it. Climb up then. Where did that switch open? Like how many outside areas were there in this level? Mm. Oh, I think we're supposed to just climb over there and grab the secret that way. That's funny. I missed that. I wonder what the hell that related to. Did I miss any switches down here? Look at the difference the texture work though is. <laughs> it's incredible. Oh, it's the switch here behind this wall. Okay. Yeah. Don't do that though. There's no switch. <laughs> Where the heck was that switch that always saw open up? Okay. Um, it's timed, I would. Hurl myself through the window. So I can do this then. Right, work with me, work with me. Then I'm gonna... <laughs> the tile's gonna fall. But there's a little med pack there. Thankfully. The only other secret that I can remember is the church key because that's like the ho All Hollows thing and that's like an easter egg that you kind of google and know of so I know that one. How many secrets are there in the level? Let me just double check. Mm. Not looking good fam. Right 
All right, let's climb up here. Gosh. Look what they did with the columns. Isn't that amazing? I could have fixed the roof, though. You don't even get up there. Of course, there's two different paths to go. That is beautiful, though. Those columns. So much treaty. Is there anything here? Oh, an easy secret. I'll take it. Oh, the ending. In plain sight. So the things Lara wishes she just had her glider from VCI, the Van Croy Industries section of Tomb Raider 5. She could have just slided on over to that part of the map. So... Is that the only reason why I'm here? Might be. <laughs> Look at the British flag. Because everyone's got one. Right, I think we can raise that paint bucket thing though, can't we? Oh, boom. Set a heat of bullets there. Yes, I do need this switch. And that raises the paint bucket thing, doesn't it? I don't need that camera view. I wonder if that's one of those camera views they put in so your PlayStation doesn't lag. So it like reduces the polygon the polygon count. Um, but that raises the paint bucket, I remember that much. And why that gives me access to the flu room. Mm, got it. Who? Oh, you probably dropped something I really needed. Let's see. Did you drop anything? No. What is she aiming at? Oh, bird. Right, let's go into the flu room. Okay, we're not doing too bad. Although, guys, it's only going to get harder from here. I mean, between Lud's Gate and Aldwych, the abandoned train station. What? <laughs> so it's going to go in fucking flames. Oh, is it like they moved the fire from... Oh, the backtracking I'm going to have to do. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> My dumbass should have just stopped when I had the chance. leave here in one piece. Okay, I can probably just go out the way I can. Right. Right. Let's jump here. Now we have to go back that same way where we found that secret. <sighs> right, let's save again. Way. 
ground. That's off. Like, just always taking health damage. And then we slide down here. Excellent. Oh no, why is it giving me all this health for? <laughs> Alright, let's line down here. Mm. Oh, this was like the water tank one. Is this the level that has like... Oh, just look at her killing innocent. What do they look like? They all have the same face. Imagine being night security and you're, just, you're, you're, you're the sanitation department of London and Lara just here comes in and wrecks your day. Now, do I need to pull this switch straight away or do I need to come back? Is this the level that has the thing that chases you around? It's like an electrical thing. You have to know what I was talking about to get what I was getting at. Mm. Let's try this room. So there's a trap door there that we haven't opened. There's nothing we need to interact with, no underwater switches or levers. This is just Lara swimming around in the clean water supply that's being sent to the homes of millions of Londoners and they're like, why is my water dirty? But it's, <laughs> it's got like a leathery taste <laughs> off of it. Traces of blood. <laughs> okay, this looks like where I need to be. Oh, what's here? Oh, let me just do some damage here first, though. So. so let's swim down and collect these Uzis. And we'll collect the Medi. And there is one underwater switch. That opens a trap door in the other room filled with clean water that we've now just contaminated. Although it might be full of they might they could probably still just run another I don't know how water treatment plants work. I wonder they probably have to test the levels for bacteria and then do like a chlorine or whatever chemical. Right? Danger max level. We just save so then. Well, this level obviously needs to be filled with water, so maybe we have to come back here at another time. So let's hop then back to the other room and go through the trap door. There isn't a switch here that I am proceeding any further. What the hell am I supposed to do with this? See, I'm not too sure what the cause and effect is. Does this drain the water? Well, the water has to go somewhere. And I also saved a hundred times, it seems. Okay, we pulled the water. And we get up. Get access to here. So there must be some objective then in this room. Oh. I am wondering, if I pull that back to original position so the water will drain, and then we go to this room, because we opened the hat, so if I safely climb down and now go through the hatch, has the fan stopped? It still sounds like that. Oh. Oh, is it slower? Oh my god, how are we alive? Oh. 
I will save in a new slot. Wait, does it just not have damage here anymore? Oh, I think it just is less damaging. Grant, gotcha. So Lara can make it safely through that. Well, you shot first, so I don't feel as bad about killing you now. Oh my god, I hate when they get the extra shot in. Ooh. Like how? They're in cahoots with the sewer rats. I'm trying to move away from you. She's definitely got rabies now. If I was her, I'd go to a, I'd go to the care dock. I'd go to the A and E and get on that. I'd be like, we're going to resume our adventure at a later stage. I'd make it poisonous. Oops. Yeah. Are those like breakable? We think. Oh yeah, look at this is the room I was thinking of. This is a funny room. Yep, there she is. I don't even know what this is supposed to be. Lara needs to get the heck out of the way before that comes back. Ooh. Doesn't it only do like right turns or something? So it's like what you actually have to do is probably push it this way. Ooh, look at it come for us. It's kind of scary. Oh my gosh, we're just in the nick in time. Ooh. Isn't that gonna come for us now? Haha! -ha. Excellent. I'm so good at these puzzles. I was supposed to turn the light on the whole time. Never mind. Isn't there like a hatch that opens once you do that? Or maybe it's the hatch back out there. I love how she has no self-preservation when it comes to a flare. She's like, I've got to get this flare out of my hands. I could be a hundred feet up, but it's like this flare, it's just finished. I need to get rid of it. <laughs> to me, that's one of the funniest things ever. So we're back out here and has this opened up all the control panels? Well it's opened one of them, which is good enough for me, so let's save. Oh, oh, he was sneaking up on me. Oops. I was trying to pull off a cool move and like it, the game did that to me. So we killed him and I wonder if it's put water on oh, no, we need to fill the water back up. Hang on. <laughs> so I'm gonna pull this switch once more to the on position to red. And we are going to get on out of here. I can't believe you have to do death defying traps 
just so you can um, turn the water on. No wonder if the workers are always striking in London over their work conditions. I do think when Tomb Raider goes to urban areas and they have these elusive puzzles and traps, I always like to think of the commentary on society in that country. It's like, what are those workers who just, you know, work the tube? What's that to put up with? Imagine if she got electrocuted in the water. That would be funny. Is there any switches down here? They're like, what are you doing to our fresh water supply? I actually heard something open or close as soon as I went in there, but I don't know what I did. Is I gonna open up the other switch? Ha ha ha! I got a little Tomb Raider. Ooh, let's turn off the water. Bad, bad news for us. It's like the railing's not broken. How am I, how am I supposed to... Imagine trying to dive into that from here. Well, we can give it the college try. <laughs> She's like, nope. Monkey bars. Aha. Where are we going? Whoa, that was like an invisible collision. Don't know what compelled her to do that. Oh no, is this a secret? Oh, rats. Pistols. Doors opened. Let's pick this up. Interesting, and now we're back out here. So, all going well. I think the second switch should have activated by now. over this way and find that second switch so the area is on high security alert someone's messing with the the British the, the London the British water supply so that's done a lot to the water couldn't tell you what it's done to the water but it's done a lot um I think we've done in there I think it's in here. Yes, the little hatch is opened. We can now go down into the hatch. It's getting scary, it's getting spooky. So we're swimming through the English tunnels. Nice graphics. And now we find ourselves in a chapel of sorts. Church, maybe even. Wait, what happened to my dead bodies? Wasn't there like infamous dead bodies in this? I could have sworn it was like floating corpses. I mean, wasn't that the whole point of it? This is pretty too. So. Oh, shotgun shells. What are you doing at a church? <laughs> Let's get the small medipack. And her glasses are still staying, staying on her, her sunglasses. Good for you, Lara. Uh, is there any secrets? Um, I think there's just an exit. And I'm sure we will head for it. I do like the blue lights, though. 
the original. Like you can see what they were trying to do with the blue colors, you know, just a nice contrast. And those window textures. Why would that have windows? Oh, it's not looking good for me. Okay. Those are some nice block textures. Ooh. It's invisible barbed wire. I'd hate to be someone who wasn't using their camera mode. They should really fix that. If I was a new gamer and I fell in there, I'd be so disappointed. So we come out here. Yeah, so I probably could have got the first secret of the level. Much, much later on. Got me? Oh no, maybe not, because he come out this side. Okay, so I did get the secret in the right order. Aha, uh -huh, because we're going to climb up here onto this barbed wire. Does she get hurt if she does a handstand? <laughs> what happens if you do a handstand in barbed wire? Oh no, she's grand. So let's climb up here. And we are now basically on the other side of the of the uh, the rooftops, which I think is cool. Oh, I do want those. Um, I do feel like if I was being honest. I'd say my strategy to get something like them, a running jump in the old graphics, and potentially no. Oh, you know what? It looks like there's less barbed wire this side. Oh, there we go. Oh, I mean, the game does make it even obvious in high def graphics. You can get them that way. <laughs> Good to know. I was like, she's never getting that barbed wire. It's funny that you can even get through it like this. So there's less barbed wire on this side. Perfect. So we got those clips. And let's get up here and waste some baddies. Thank you. Any more? Seems good for the time being. Let's pull this block back, which will get us our fourth secret. So then find the fifth secret though. This might be the first level I have to replay. Because this is the end of the level. And this is the only secret I can think of. And that's the counts as two. Oh, there is more rooftops over there. I should probably have a look. Well, what they did with the column work is beautiful. Oh no, this is not even a secret. This is a secret, isn't it? Yay! That's one. Maybe there's another secret if I go onto the opposite side of the rooftop. Nothing. Oh my god, okay. We'll do one last scan in the area. Maybe even cheeky photo mode. The buildings look a lot better. I think the lights they put onto the buildings is a really good touch. Maybe by the tarp. So that's the end of the level, and once you go there, it's going to trigger a cutscene. Oh, that's a ladder. Never gone this way before. That's barbed wire. Oh, well, there's a light there. So, oh, the spirit. This is this a secret? Aha, five out of five secrets. Perfect. Still the tumor, because I was like... I didn't see any other areas because those water tank areas pretty closed off. They're kind of hiding the secrets all out here in the open world. There is a moodiness though to the older level design and the moon out. Like you know this had a vision. 
this had a vision too. I love the colours of the lighting on the old buildings more. I wish it did that. Well look, there's a moving tarp because it's all a construction site. So this is a really fun cutscene. Um, it's almost like one of those ones where you always kind of keep a slot at the end to replay because this doesn't have a built-in story mode. It's just one of those things where it's like you'd watch it from time to time. So enjoy uh, this uh, interesting encounter Lara has on the rooftops of London. It's my first time seeing this cutscene. That's so good. And so does he, in fairness. <laughs> like the tattoo. I'm a sucker for arm tattoos. Who are you working for? What? You heard me. I didn't. Honest. What did you say? I said. His face doesn't match his voice. Miss Sophia Lee. <laughs> Who's she? Who's she? What does she do? I don't know. Oh, we use the really? same gun. I the MP5. I just shoot people for a... a commendable work ethic, I guess. <sighs> yeah. I put my hands into it, as my father did and his father did it for. Well, and how, how old, old is, is this man? I don't know. Late twenties, early thirties. Right. Yeah. For some people, like yourself, we get a special bonus. I'm flattered. I mean. I could even be retiring from you. <laughs> then you might like to Oh, she looks mind. so good in the outfit. <laughs> then she has her iconic moment. Happy, Happy retirement. <laughs> this is a cool cutscene. The London cutscenes are bangers, especially when she meets Miss Sophia Lee. So this was the Thames Wharf. Uh, less than an hour. Quite proud of myself. Uh, I did die a few times though, but we got all five secrets and we only missed one pickup, which is, I think, really impressive. But yeah, that was really fun, but it's only going to get worse from here as we move into Aldwych, the abandoned train station of London. And we're going to take off the sunglasses for this. I'm not going to lie, this is the one I'm nervous the most about. Ooh, nearly missed the secret. <laughs> I'm already, I'm already off my game. This is the level where it's like I fear I'll need to walk through just to figure out how to pass it, let alone find secrets. So we'll hop down here. I think it's just mostly because it's very abstract because you're in an urban environment, but all your pickups are still quite like art ar artifacts, like mallets and weird stars and stuff and nothing urban or contextual, maybe is what I mean. Now, is there a secret in there? Okay. I like that. Okay. So these are the damned. They're a cult. They had their face absolutely destroyed by a certain someone. And I believe there might be a second. So just an indication of how stumped I am. I know we have to do this and get something up here. <laughs> I'm so nervous about this one. I think when I last played Tomb 3 nearly like seven or eight years ago, when I was like 20 years old, so seven years ago, I might have just used a walkthrough just to even get through the level. And now you're watching me trying to do an all secrets run without even using a walkthrough. Like that's how nervous I am. Like this section of the game just doesn't make sense. I love how you can hear the trains though. I do think the game designers are clever enough to kind of think about what environments would work for the game engine because admittedly, you know. Oh, this don't make sense. Admittedly, you know, it's a tough one. Oh, I'm so unfocused and this is like the one level I need to be super focused on. <laughs> Okay, I'm 
glad I did that. Did I do that for this? Is there something extra I can climb now? Isn't it like only one of the ticket machines even work? And it's like, how the hell are you supposed to know which ticket machine to use? That type of thing I think is really funny. not a coin. I was hoping for a coin because Lara did not bring cash on her. She's a she's all about the contactless payments. <laughs> I am very nervous. Is there even a way? I think it's like one of them works. One of the machine works but does the game give you any clues? Or is it just pure guesswork? Because those machines look identical to me. Because they didn't give you any clue in the last one either. It's not like one of them has their screen turned on as some type of hint. So this key is called the maintenance key. I guess we'll go down this one. Oh, isn't it like you turn on the lights and then a coin drops? I do like the effect that the fire turns off. Like, yeah, I mean, obviously things are more HD, but can you kind of see, like, it didn't... It's not like, wow. I mean, it's one of those things where it's just gonna look how it's gonna look. I wonder if they got the geography right. Yeah, I'd say so. This is a secret there, right? Oh, I might be on the wrong platform. Ooh, look at the rats. Isn't there like a little dog? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Do you know when you see things first? This what happened to this dog? It's just demented. Look how much more atmospheric though the old graphics were. That dog is cool though. Like, that's cool. The, like the old colors, I think, do make a difference. Right, I don't think I'm supposed to be here just yet. I think I've gone in the wrong one. I think those are like historical posters. Well, this is not the one with the cliff. Maybe this isn't the right one either. Begun <laughs> my descent into chaos. <sighs> I don't even know if I'm going the right way. Isn't there Uzis in this room? Whoa, he was just taking a nap. I didn't even notice it. He blend in well. Yeah, they kept the creative style for this room. I wish they kept it for all the rooms, like the blue lights or whatever. 
Sounds like a train that's coming my direction. Yeah, I found my Uzi. So well, that's one bright side of this level. At least we got Uzis. <laughs> and so, you know, it's not just the friends you meet along the way. It's the Uzis you got too. Now, but isn't there like a legit reason to be here? Is that pushable? No. Well, that's me. Oh, switch. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know this level well, well enough, so I'm just I'm gonna push everything. Um, I don't know if it's annoying a sound effect or whatever, but we just don't have the luxury. Of ammo, do we? And like Ken, he's only got one job to push you off a really tall ledge. Mm. Lara is so done with this, she, like, even she looks miserable about this whole situation. Better not be a slope. Ooh, I'm gonna save. <laughs> I think I know what section this is. Yep. So I found one secret. Two? One. <laughs> There's another one to be had here, so. Oh, I forget the order. I think it's not the obvious one. You have to do a bit more dropping. I, I, <laughs> I'm going to go down this way. I'll probably be here a few more times. So I should just save again. <laughs> like again, we can kind of see how long it has been since I played Tomb Raider because it's like, I don't really remember any of this. I think I was on the right track. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Yes. 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 <laughs> okay. I failed upwards, everybody. <laughs> That's funny. Like, it isn't as fast as you think it would be. Grand, okay, so we don't have to come here just yet.
And we have to do two visits. I remember that. Like we'll be back here because we can climb on top of the the trap, the structure. Which is cool. But again, a lot of backtracking. Did that block off? Because I was just thinking to myself, like, even if What's that noise? Oh, I thought there was something down here. I think this is for if you catch on fire. That was polite of the London Transport Service. Just to put a little leaking pool of water there. Oh, okay, so I'm screwed as soon as... I didn't save. Oh. <laughs> Why did I do that? Mm. That was just pure luck, if I'm being honest. Well, now I'm curious about what's up there. Ways the way. Oh, there's only a switch this way. Let's press it. Where the hell's that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> I did not realize that was going to happen. Skin of my teeth. I might even send a boulder after me now. I feel like I'm here way too early. You know that? Didn't... Wrong gun. But that rat is killed. I've got plenty of flares. Let's go alcove up here. What's up here? Secret. Right. Ooh. Quick easy deaths. Well, I'm back here and I've done everything I needed to do, kind of. The maintenance key, that's my that's the only lead I have is to find that stupid hatch. Yeah, doesn't this one turn the power on? You come in here. It's kind of like also one where you chase a person into a train room. Oh, whatever. Urging <laughs> This person here is blabbering about stuff you don't even know they're on about. This is turns power on. And so like it drops the key. Or drops a coin over here by the flickering switch. Chuck time. Funny. So we got a coin, which we can buy a train ticket with. We're back in the day, a chocolate bar. Um, oh, I say this will be the first level I need to use a walkthrough to find the secrets. I will just use photo mode to cheat, thank you very much. Wasn't there like a, a track there where like you had to run after a guy? No, oh, no, look, there's a train right there waiting for us. Scary. 
Okay, we got the coin. We got everything we needed. So let's not be a dummy and don't go that way. Oh, bloody hell. If memory serves, we can't use it on any of them. It's on one specific one. And there's nothing. Like, these are all identical, right? Like, what contextual hints did the game give you that actually... You might be onto something, and actually, yeah, because... Some of them are broken. In the old graphics. Well... Don't we not use the penny? I put the power back on. Oh, now I'm out of ideas. Oh, pray for me. This is BS. Don't you just put the, the coin in? Oh, okay. I guess not. So, oh, I don't know what to do next. Let's go down this one then. I oh, know we've done this one. Let's turn the power on. This is nice and bright. Well, we had to try it once. <laughs> Ouch. What, what commentary is it saying on women's bodies that she'd be able to stop a moving train with just one little hit? <laughs> Wasn't there not one where like a guy comes out? Yeah, you. So this is the maintenance room. Oh, there's a switch here. Yes, I will take that. Oh no, I know this room, this stupid maze. So let's get it over with now. Okay. So this is the maintenance room, apparently. And the crazy music will start playing. Because actually we're in a maze. I might forget how to unlock this maze. Oh yeah, here we go. That one's got a hand. That one does not. Oh boy. Oh. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh. Just know, I, I, I don't, well, I guess that's not the answer. <laughs> oh, I got my pack. Yay. <laughs> I just want out of here. This one? I bet that closes them all. Mm. 
Like this is poor level design. How are you supposed to? Well, that has a fish. Oh, I don't care. Although I feel like something is important in there, but we're here. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> this is terrible. So I never understood what this was supposed to be. This is obviously like a cult room. Anyone can let me know what this is in the comments in Aldwich. Just say Aldwich and then what this room is because I never understood it. Jesus. We obviously need to get in there. But to me, it looks like a room of worship or something. But I don't know. So I need two. I need four or two? Two. Um, so am I here too early? Well, I know why I want to come here for one of them, because I know what's in here. This is like an infamous one. Oh, it's a memo. I need a star and an old penny, so <laughs> I still don't have much in the way of help. I, I, I don't really know what this room is supposed to be. Is it like a historical thing? Do the cultists run a muck in it? The damned? Just so finally pray here? Is this just an ancient English thing? Is there anything important in that room? <laughs> Right, don't touch. But at least we got the ornate star. but until I know what the coin does it gives you a ticket that we need for some of those barriers but until I can get the I feel like I'm doing this all wrong look there's even a door there should I be opening that to get into something ho oh, ho I say I'm gonna miss some serious secrets in this level Because like that's thing, I'm trying to keep a boat lookout for secrets and just focusing on passing the damn thing. I mean, there's probably a secret, isn't there like a, a bank? Like an old London maze bank or something? Yeah, I don't think I can come here until I have the fucking ticket. There's a no, she won't put a penny and she wants a ticket. I can't give you the ticket, Lara. I just can't. <laughs> um, this is awful.
Has she changed her attitude now about this? No. Now she'll do it. What made her change her mind? <sighs> Lara's going to be Lara. Well, we got the ticket now because I guess she had an epiphany. <laughs> um, look at the way I have to go all the way back now. She wouldn't do it a few minutes ago, but she'll do it now. Flowers brought cash in the first place. This would have been so much easier for the rest of us. Right, let's put in our ticket. Oh, rat. The rat was just waiting there the entire time. He's like, I got a train to catch. All the health kits I'm, I'm doing so well though like in, in that aspect now the reason why I did that stupid maze first was because I know here this is like a weird collision thing I don't think many people would know to do that oh did I fix the collision this one used to have like a really weird collision thing but um you can put the ornate star like <laughs> It doesn't make sense to have this at a train station. It doesn't, but... Oh. I'm aware this doesn't make sense, folks. <laughs> Ancient London having this, but that's the way we're, that's what we're going with. It does look like a train station, though. It looks... To give the credit to the remaster team, this looks much better than I would have ever thought um, the game could look. Where's my goodies? Where does this bring me? Oh, it's like a reward. It's like a shortcut. Can I use this as a shortcut? I kind of need to get back to... Oh man, I can't use this as a shortcut. What's... <laughs> I need to go back that direction. I haven't even explored it yet. Right, save. <laughs> So actually, let's look at the poses. Like I'm afraid I'll forget about them. But I believe this is um, related to World War Two, wasn't it? Like if you're a spy or something, if you don't do a ride share or something. Yeah, that was really interesting propaganda. I think that's really interesting that they brought that into the remaster. Yeah, I need like a mallet or something. I don't even have the mallet for that. I'm trying to be careful with these ones because doesn't some of them guide you to secrets or something? I think I'm making shit up. Is this open the whole time? Now we came from here. We need like a hammer or something for that. Dog, this rabbit dog's crazy. Look at him. 
I see you. Hello. Ooh. Oh, flare. Oh, this is like the train car you can actually move. It's like a transport link. You can move it back and forward. I just want to check, am I going insane or am I right in believing that this isn't a new station. We actually have access to a station we've already been in. This was the one that we were at earlier that we slid down by accident, I hope. Yeah, it is. That's really cool. OK, so I know kind, kind of where we are now. That's really good to know though in terms of access. I thought we'd have to go a really weird loop about everything. So we do need the mallet and I don't know if I should go down this. I don't think this will be open yet. The point of doing this is to get access to a train car, isn't it? But I don't think that train car is going to have it open. Maybe it is time now that we go back to the hatch, the one that opened in that red room, which makes no sense unless you know exactly what I'm talking about. We've already been there where that trap thing came crumbling down at us. So I think I have to drop into that pit for it, right? I don't think it's this way, I think it's this way. Ooh, here he slipped. This one. Can you actually go down any further? Nope, it's not that one. Which, which was it? Oh, there, that one there. Okay. So we have to do some running, jumping. Where do I go back to where the trap is first? So when you go back to where the trap is, we can stand on top of it. I'll do a save and we'll... My gut says trap first, but my gut could be very wrong. <laughs> oh, this is that. This is like a completely new path, isn't this? Like, <laughs> I sound like a crazy person. Um, let's go back to the trap room first, then. Yeah, because we can stand on top of this in this girl though. This gives us access to here. What's here? Ooh. A key. Solomon's. I think that's only one of two of them. We need more. We need more. Key. Okay, let's leave Solomon's key for a second and go this way then. Why could you not aim at the dog first? like an entrance to another tube station which I think is interesting. Oh, 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 oh. That's more of a door. Avoid any confusion. We'll push that there. What's in here then? I think there's gotta be something good. I 
crown, thanks. That's better not be the bank. I think I'm way too early to be at the bank. Should I even be here now? Wait, isn't one of them like a bloody secret? We should scout the area first. I can't believe I ended up in the stupid bank. Maybe there's a key in one of the safes. That's all I keep telling myself. Yeah, so this is like a, the Bank of England safe. Flares do I have just for reference? 128 per grand. No shortage there on my end. Yeah, look, it was Chancery Lane safe deposit. I think that's really cool. Apparently, London did have these. So at least I've scouted the area. I'm gonna pick the not the mind the gap one. I'm gonna pick this one first. There we go. Please let this be a generic one. I think one of them has a weapon. Why does this just look like it's bringing me to another bloody area? I don't want to be here. Isn't it crazy though how like they connected the map together? Like it is clever, clever level, level design that would be a safety deposit entrance, I suppose. Oh, this game is testing me. Fine then, we'll push the mine in the gap one first. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shit. Ah, fuck, into this one first then. Oh, that looks like the switch I need though. <laughs> So this middle one seems pointless. Not at all a reason to be here, sure. Ground them in. So. Does this open the hatch on the first one? It better have opened the hatch on the first one. I'm even afraid it might be timed. If I look really uncomfortable, this, this is just the old witch experience. <laughs> it does it to you. Get a few wrinkles from playing this level. So what the hell did this do? Okay, it opened up that hatch. Watch this have absolutely nothing. Okay, it's gonna open up this one. Grand.
quickly get up in case that's timed. Because I can't bear the thought of having to do this again. We got the second key, which helps us plot-wise, don't get me wrong, but it isn't really what I want in terms of, I think we need to get other items for the secrets. Maybe I can get the hammer inside that temple. So let's head there with our two keys, because we have to go back to the bank or something anyway to end the level, so. I don't think the level ends in there. Ooh, crazy. All right. Thankfully, these doors are already opened. I don't know the lore, to tell you the truth. What? Where's my second key? Okay, let's leave Solomon's key for a second and go this way then. Oh, I didn't pick up the fucking second key. Oh, I'm thick as a plank. Thank you. Okay, now we got the two keys. Okay, so at least we have the two keys now. <laughs> I don't know why there's a clicking noise. I think it might be related to the background ambiance track that plays. Let me know if you have the same issue. Imagine having this, imagine that there was a temple though in the underground, wouldn't that be so weird? put in two of Solomon's best keys. Lovely. So that door opens, but doesn't more doors open? Ooh, look at that. I didn't see that breakaway floor. That's the mallet I need. I know what that's for. Where is it? Oh, does this open the train car thing that I need? Is this what a Masonic temple does? Oh, brings us here. I think we need to be. Yeah, we do need to be here. Thank you. 
gain for doing this. Because I actually couldn't remember where that stupid thing was supposed to be. in there. Yeah, I need it for this. Give me my mallet. Okay, this seems pretty easy. Yes, that is underneath the, um, the thingy. I know what that's for. Uh, is there something up there is? Haha! Four secrets. Damn straight's four secrets. So I have just one left? Yes, okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna save over. So if I F up and I can't get the last secret, I'll just load into this one. Now, this is me actually on the right track isn't it because we can get into the car can't we so we can hop into this old train car which i think is fun look at this it's like supposed to be like an old timey time london car and that's really fun and then this will move us look at us going for a little ride the whole idea is like um you know. Does that mean we can't get back up? Where is he going? Yeah, I see. I knew you have to keep an eye on them. the train. That door is... Oh, that's the ending of the level. Damn, don't go down there. Right, 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 right. That room is... Oh, I know where that room is. I'll get that night pack later. That's the end of the level, I believe. So we had to get back on the train to get to that door and that door was in that stupid red room. So we can climb back out here. Sorry, if it looks like I'm having a stroke, I'm not. I'm just thinking really hard about what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. It was the room with the... But what wasn't... Did I not unlock like shortcuts and everything for that? Oh, I guess this is my shortcut. This is the shortcut I was... No, this is not the shortcut I was thinking. No, I'm lying to you then because I swear I thought I opened this, opened a shortcut somewhere. Yeah, this stupid thing. Where does this bring me? So we need this. This was like an essential shortcut I remember. Okay, so this, if we need to get back to, got it. But then we need to go down the other one, right? No, we need to go down this one. Yeah. And then, 
come back to this bloody room so many times. I feel like we're on the trail of getting all secrets. I have to do this again in the bloody next level for Ludsgate. I don't even think Ludsgate is, well yeah Ludsgate's hard, just the water sequences. <laughs> Yay, this door opened. So this is my last secret. Please tell me I'm gravy rewarded for my efforts. Ooh. Hang on. Let me just get my... I'm just trying to get my... Rocket launcher. If I had my right, I would have blown these all up. That's fun though, we did get the rocket launcher. I should blow up some of them. <laughs> what does this button do then? Oh, okay, because I needed to do that. So that opens. Wasn't well, there like an easy way out of here? I guess so, I can probably just go back this trap way. Yeah, because this will bring me down. Okay, guys, I think we're doing extremely well. So, I got all secrets, I'm proud, proud of myself. Again, I really struggled to play the, this bloody level, get through it, let alone get all the secrets. Like, the game gives you hints of where the secrets are, so I do feel right in saying that actually it was harder to pass the level than it was to find the secrets. Like the difficulty curve on this level is insane. So we're gonna push this train for the last time and move to a new part of the area. And there was a medikit in one of them. Let's grab this really carefully. And I believe we can slide. Hello. Okay, let's get that. Oh, let's do a safety save. But yeah, uh, now we can actually enjoy ending all the witch. Here we go. I like his jeans and his converse. You know he's good looking underneath that mask. If he had the rest of his face. So you must be after Miss Lee. It does look like pop play, doesn't not pleasure. it? Though obviously not for revenge, man. You've hardly got the face for that. And you have? <laughs> How ironic a question is that, eh? I don't, I don't even have a face, man. A face, man. I came down here looking for work. And what do I get here? But Miss Lee's cosmetic company. And her lab assist job. No experience necessary. Good wage. Accommodation with it. Aye. Locked in a flotation tank for days on end in some fetid syrup. And when we come out, because oh, I was thinking fed head, syrup. No face or flesh, man. And a boot and doing the waste disposal shoot here. <laughs> Presumed deed. Some kind of failed experiment then. Oh, ta, very much. But I, and for added insult. When I tried to take my own life, I found it just didn't That's really interesting. You mean Sophia's testing lore. some sort of immortality power? Along with her own brand of facelift. Why I man? Everlasting beauty. She's obviously not fully worked. It's an iconic storyline. She takes the cosmetics. The best results for herself. Sure. See, I don't care what your business with her is. You can't be any more shiftless than what she is. So I'm gonna go out of my way to help you. That is, after you've done something for us here, like. Very generous of you. What do you want? A bottle of that mummy preservation stuff from the Natural History Museum. Embalming fluid? Aye. For rotten flesh, you can't work it, man. <laughs> the museum's pretty interesting, I'm told. You'll like it. So why don't you go yourself? One of them Egyptian lassies there is a bit pissed off, like, that uh, she didn't get immortality the way she wanted it. And seeing as we've done better than her in that department, I didn't care to imagine what curse we could get given any worse than what we've got already, like. You'll be fine though, pet. 
You That's an interesting conversation about Thanks. the colonialism of them stealing artifacts for the History Museum. But yeah, that's all rich, guys. That took me longer than an hour and 14 minutes. But we got all secrets, which is I'm super proud of. Um, that's probably meant for a terrible walkthrough if you guys are using it as a walkthrough. I was probably going around in circles. I probably did it out of order, but I made it through and I could get all secrets and I got most pickups. And we got the rocket launcher, which was a lot of fun, and Uzis. On that note, I think this is going to end part one of my Tomb Raider 3 Adventures of Lara Croft All Secrets Let's Play. I wish I could do it in one video, but I've edited all the levels I've played up until now, and I just don't think I can do it all in 12 hours. I think this is going to take me longer than 12 hours to play, and I'm already editing unnecessary bits out. So I think the best thing to do is leave it off here because then it's like a half and half playthrough, so it'll be in two parts. So yeah, if you enjoyed part one, do subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for part two where we'll eventually get to meet Miss Sophia Lee, we'll go to the South Pacific, we'll go to Antarctica, and we'll even unlock the All Hollows bonus level. So do stay tuned for that if you are interested in still watching me play Tomb Raider 3. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you guys are all keeping safe and well wherever you are in the world. And if you enjoyed the video, drop a comment down below and I will see you all very soon. Bye everybody.